Richmond got a painful reminder last Saturday about the gap between the very top and their position on the table. The youthful Tigers were overpowered by Collingwood. Tonight they meet a side that knows all about pain, the Brisbane Bears, who find themselves in a nightmare season. But at least every game in the run home provides them with a chance to grab some glory. Hi everybody, I'm Dennis Committee. Welcome along to the MCG as round 14 of the AFL competition begins and tonight it's Richmond against the Brisbane Bears. The Tigers looking to bounce back after losing last Saturday in a match of the day, a status they haven't had too often against Collingwood. The margin there was 59 points. And the Bears, well what can you say about the Bears? They've lost their last six. They're at the bottom of the AFL Premiership table, but still some joy as far as their supporters are concerned. Back in round one, they defeated Richmond by 59 points. In fact, the Bears have won five of six against the Tigers since joining the competition. That's good news. With me tonight, Peter Landy and Bernie Quinlan. What about these two sides, Pete? Thanks, Dennis, and yes, good evening, Bernie. Well, looking at the sides, uh, Bernie, you'd have to say on paper that Richmond would be favourites to win. But as Dennis just mentioned, their record is not that good. No, it is not. It's uh, a five and one. Only one win out of six games for Richmond. And uh, although their form has been good over the last five or six weeks, having with the back line, James on Kappa. Well, Kappa's been back for two matches and only kicked two goals. So really, he hasn't been, hasn't come up to expectation as yet, Peter. No, and I don't think the conditions will suit him here tonight. Halfback line for Richmond. I think we could say one of their better lines with Justin Pickering. A good player on his day or evening, as it is tonight. Goodwin can play a bit, and Bauer, a real gun. Yeah, Bauer has also played state football this year, so that's not a bad lineup for Richmond. Centre line Knights, a uh, very good player. The, the smaller players are very good against McIver, who hasn't had a great season. Uh, forward Mitchell, probably the informed player of the Richmond team, one of the fastest, probably over 15 to 20 metres in the AFL. Lee maybe won't start at half forward, and Barry Young, of course, also won in the state selection this year. Yes, I'd probably expect Gastev to pick up Mitchell. The Richmond uh, forward line, Lambert, Hamilton and Gale, really inexperienced uh, lineup there on the forward line, up against another in inexperienced lineup for the uh, Brisbane Bears, Matt Kennedy, fullback, only young player. O'Keefe and Gibson have got a few games under their belt. David Clark, well certainly he's got a few games under his belt, one of the real veterans of the competition. Tony Free, good player, and Nichols having a great game. Yes, against Soshenko. There's a noddy, well, Ruck Rover name there. Whether he lines up there is another thing. And David Bain, who's a very good little rover for the Brisbane Bears. And on the bench, Honey Bun can take a great mark. Maybe conditions won't suit him tonight. And pow. They're the teams there. A milestone night, certainly, for Roger Merritt. He plays his 200th AFL match. To say it's been a long, hard road for Roger Merritt to play 200 games is... And we're back at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Here's Michael Roberts with the Ford Ground Report. 
Well, thanks, Dennis. And with all the snow fields reporting heavy falls, no wonder it's cold down here at ground level. I'd advise the players to do a lot of running. The current temperature at the moment is 10 degrees. The expected overnight low is 6. The relative humidity is 60%. A 10-kilometre wind heading towards the outer side, which is the southern stand under construction. There's no real goal advantage for either team. The ground is firm and the forecast showers. But looking up at the skies at the moment, it is clear. Thank you, Michael. Selections, gentlemen. Richmond warm favourites, if anything can be warm tonight. Well, they are favourites, Dennis. There's no doubt about that. The uh, bookmakers have them at 5-2 to two on, and Brisbane Bears 7-4 to four against. So, uh, really, their form's been pretty good over the last few weeks, except for last week against Collingwood. And uh, their enthusiasm, their smaller players, I would expect Richmond to win tonight. Right. Never talk over the siren. I'll go for Richmond, too, purely on home ground advantage. The Bears, as you mentioned, Dennis, at the opening of the telecast, have a good record against Richmond, but I think that the Bears tonight, well, they'll find Richmond bouncing back after what was for them a disaster last week. Oh! <laughs> there was a shake of the hands, and now this. It's oh. on. That was very interesting. They're pretty friendly there to start off with, and then all of a sudden, well, the game's on. So away we go. Cloak and Hamilton on the bench for the Tigers. Edwards and Carlson for the Bears. Lee wins it down. The kick from Knights, Lambert in front, no mark. Wesley, the high kick through centre. Ashcroft knocking it forward. Withers in trouble, holding the ball, yes. Have to be. Mark Withers. Knights, the short pass, free. Forward of centre, long kick down towards full forward. A lot of jostling down there, honey bun almost. Michael Pickle on the snap, it's a goal. Bun was named on the interchange bench. He was lined up at full forward, which isn't surprising. Michael Pickering was uh, li lined up uh, on the wing, or he's named on the wing, and he's in the forward pocket. So they've got two good goal kickers who really weren't named in attack. And uh, I think really Honeybun, with his form over the last few weeks, has been one of the reasons why Richmond have been going so well. It's going to be Ashenko and Mark Lee at centre field. MCG centre not looking too bad. Forecast a lot, but no Raiders forward. Knights from midfield. The Tigers into attack again. And they build on that quick goal. Kicked by Michael Pickering. Now it comes to free. But just about score if he can get boot to ball. Good tackle. And no one's going anywhere. Five on the bottom of the pack. One of the Brisbane Bears players, predictably wearing long sleeves, more than the Richmond team. Interesting, Peter, to see Scott McIver playing in the back pocket. Shenko gets the run at the ball. Lambert comes out the hand pass free. A snapshot. Bounce! Yes! We would have not associated with that one, but the skill was to get boot the ball quickly. The Tigers by 12 points. Yes. They've got a start going. Yeah, very good start by the Tigers. They're so getting the ball out of the centre of the centre of the ground. Brendan Gale doing the ruck work in the forward, forward pocket there and free. Didn't have much time to get his foot to the ball, but he tumbled it end over end, and it just bounced at the right time, got over the pack, and that's a very good goal by Richmond. So the Tigers by 12 points, back in the middle. Lee and Ashenko, one by the ladder. Good one out of midair. Knight's doing well in the centre square, penalised for a throw this time. Bad luck. Richmond on the roll again. This is Bain. Deep inside 50. Caton is down there. Fisted away by James. Richardson. Bannock is with him. Nichols gets the kick off. Mitchell with some space. Out of side wing. Down towards half forward. The Bears lead to the ball. McIver was pushed in the back. And he'll get the free kick on the outer side. I'm told Dennis the ground over there. And that outer side is the heaviest of the MCG. McIver. Well, it's three on two. The Bears have got the numbers. Gibson out of midair. Gaston has the run of it. Takes it through centre. Still he goes John Gastiv. Gibson. Gastiv put down off the ball. Long kick down towards full forward. Bounces obligingly for Kappa. Gave him some time, but James did well to force the ball towards the boundary line. Now we throw it to follow. Left forward pocket for the Brisbane Bears. Roberts palms it down, albeit not very far. Knights. And the mark is taken by Ryan. 
Loose ball, half back, Bain almost off the ground. Plenty of weight being used, and Bain finally does get boot to ball. Well, Merritt playing game number 200, tries to barge through, gets the hand pass ultimately out to Robert, but three Richmond players are there. Bauer should be able to clear. Tries to spiral punt up towards half back. Ashenko on his own virtually, the only one to really go for the mark. Down to Gibson from a standing start, right on 50. Big lead. The big pause up. Very safe mark. Down towards half back. A half forward for Richmond. Merritt applies the tackle. Ball booted clear. Mark taken by Ryan. Back on the Tigers again. Bow. Down towards Gale. Gale at left half forward. Not a good hand pass. Leslie, late on the scene, tries to spoil. Brisbane Bears player going over the top was Walsh. Trying to keep it in play as the South Australian Interstate representative. But it will be thrown in on the old practice wickets. And the ground over there, as you can see, pretty heavy. The Tigers, aided by those two quick goals, leading by 12 points. Gale and Dushenko. Dushenko palms down. Lambert. A hurried hand pass. Nichols. On the end of another one, McIver punches clear past his teammate Hardy, but Hardy should be able to get a kick at this, and he does. Towards centre wing, Powell gets it on the ground. Justin Pickering just got away. Bannock back to Powell. Centres it. Lee plays on immediately. Nichols alongside the centre circle down towards half forward. Powell advance nicely for Pickering. Strong tackle by Zanotti. Down goes McIver. Roberts, untidy hand pass. Gibson back to him. Roberts from half back towards centre wing. Richardson. The Bears trailing by 12 points. Richardson inside 50. All Richmond. James on his chest. You see the uh, Brisbane Bears forwards there caught behind Caton and Kappa. Both playing behind their men. Stephen James, members side. Big pack at the fall of the ball. Gale was in front. Kappa, hurried kick towards half forward. Merrick cleverly. Gibson towards full forward. James again. Decides to go to the outer side this time. Lovely kick. Lee just in the centre square. Good one. Running from half back. Shocking kick towards half forward. Mitchell couldn't control it. Away comes Kennedy. That's Matt Kennedy. Long back towards half forward. Roberts in front, Bauer reaching over the top, disputed ball, Bannock controls it nicely. Powell, eventually they work it forward, Bannock again got it from Bauer, and the kick comes towards half forward. For Richmond, and a free kick is going to Bigashenko, not the left half-back flank for the Bears. And a real low trajectory kick picked up by Gibson on left centre wing, and Gibson goes for distance, gets it, to within 30 metres of goal. Kappa again out of position. Came down with the ball, but it was Mark Lee's mark. That's two he's taken in the last line of defence and playing well. Lee's to the outer side. Putting the ball clear for Richmond was Bannock. And Zanotti takes it at right half back. Can't go for run of one of his runs this time. Kick not getting a great deal of distance. Richardson had front position, didn't come down with the ball. Nichols does. And he's had a great season. Oh. Justin Pickering oh, stabs the ball at goal and hopefully the score. Putting it through his honey bun for Richmond's third. I dare say the heart went patter, patter, patter there before they got the score on the board. Richmond's third. Great kicking and a great start. There's two goals for David Honeybun, and he made heavy work of it in the end. There's a little push out there by Justin Pickering. The umpire let it go. There's Honeybun. It was like a bar of greasy soap there. Not quite sure what he was going to do with it. He could have probably handballed to a teammate in the end. Dushenko puts the Bears into attack. And that one was as good as a kick. The refrigerator, Roberts. The left half forward. Merritt didn't get a favourable bounce. Goodwin and Gibson. Caton inside 50. Tries to hook the ball back, which he does. Won't be a score. Kappa in front. Looks for the free kick. There was none there. 
Hand pass comes up to Nichols. Knights on centre wing. Back to Nichols again. He's had a great start to the quarter. He's had about six possessions. Hardy marking right on the boundary. Round Hardy. The 88 was 85. 85. Round low medalist. Time flies. Mashenko up in front. Ashcroft. Intercepted by Justin Pickering. Nicely done. Swings it out wide. Mitchell. Away he goes. Weaves a little magic. High kick in towards centre half forward. Gibson got his hands to it. With Dash, it's Kennedy. Now a chance for the Bears. This is Walsh. Meters in the clear. Runs forward of centre wing. Pulls it back towards centre half forward. And Roberts takes the mark. Runners outside. Will he go? Yes, he does. A chip pass, not a very good one. Withers couldn't hang on. That was a shocking pass. Bannock, James, towards centre wing. Ryan's got it now. Squares the ball. Two Tigers in the middle. This is free. Measures the hand pass. James again. He can kick it a long way. This is no exception. It could bounce through. They go back. Thought about leaving it. Then decided to commit for the mark. And he's taken it about eight metres out. Yes, that's a very good mark by Michael Pickering. A strong player on the forward line for the Tigers. I thought Withers may have... Uh, been able to take that mark even though the pass wasn't all that good Dennis on the Brisbane Bears forward line he still got both hands to it and uh, he let it slip away paid the penalty he's off the ground and Carlson is on meantime Pickering picks his second goal so this is a great start by the Tigers four goals straight and as we said that uh, effort of Withers probably cost the Brisbane Bears a goal eventually but Stephen James running right up the ground there he's playing on Kevin Caton and it was a beautiful kick to position a long kick right from just on the 50 meter line right into the goal square four goals to the Tigers and 15 and a half minutes left in the opening quarter and the great start by the home team Bears don't usually travel well. They've lost their last six. And not a good start tonight. Gastip. McIver now. Kicks to left half forward. Roberts. Well, held but not in possession, surely, but a good tackle. Gets the ball back to Carlson, but the whistle has gone, and the obvious free kick had been paid. No advantage rule. That's a sloppy play by the Brisbane Bears. Carlson getting the ball back to Roberts. There's Just thinking the same thing. It says something about their skills, exactly. doesn't it? Couldn't score with this kick. Capper well out of position. Lambert. Good hand pass, and the Tigers running the ball well out of defence. Ball kicked away by Justin Pickering up towards midfield. It's all Richmond. Ryan. The run of Mitchell. Gains possession. Mitchell from left half forward. Now Honeybun again. He's kicked one goal so far. And light rain falling. Well, that's not a real surprise. The Bureau's been forecasting it for three days, and we finally got a shower. David Honeybun. One goal to his credit so far. Pickering has two and three one. Honeybun will kick from around about 50 metres on some pretty heavy turf, you can see there. Look at his boots. close but not close enough maybe out of bounds on the full in fact it is and so a free kick will go to the Bears and the person of Alex Shashenko in the left back pocket not a huge crowd here tonight at the official dinner Richmond president Neville Crow said he was going to introduce the crowd one by one picked up by Zanotti the hurry hand pass but not a good one the Bears under plenty of pressure snapshot by Pickering and Mitchell just sees the ball roll through for a mighty score. The first one to the Tigers tonight. Pickering himself has kicked one goal, so it's 4 1. Brisbane Zombie. yet to score. Some behind play there, too, Peter Walsh and three. Philip Walsh, the player that had to go back with the flight of the ball trying to pick up that handball, showed a lot of courage. He could have really been crunched. Keith in short. Martin Leslie. Hardy. Up from the back pocket. Out wide towards centre wing. 
Kennedy. Good mark. Out against the boundary line. His side trailing by 25 points. Zanotti. Away he goes. Forward of center wing. Down towards half forward. And Merritt surrounded. Did well to go back and find that one on the chest. To Carlson from 50 meters out. Kappa is down there. Should have got a free kick. He did. Got a free. It's been played. So Kappa, about five meters out, a chance to register the first score for the Brisbane Bears. They desperately need it. So far, they've been swamped by the Tigers. Here's a free kick again, Dennis. Twice. And Left shoulder, the right shoulder. Yes. Much too high, probably the punch away. Kappa. Right through the middle. First score for the Brisbane Bears. Their one goal. Richmond are 4-1. Well, Warwick Kappa, he needs to kick a lot of goals if the Brisbane Bears are going to have any success here tonight. But uh, the way they've delivered the ball into the forward line so far, it's been very crowded and con congested. How about haphazard? Haphazard as well. But uh, Richmond been do have been doing well in the middle of the ground. And Warwick Kappa will have his hands full there with Brian Lees, who's a very competitive player. Kappa's first goal, the Bears' first score. They need to get it out of the centre a lot more, and it's pretty congested in there. No one going anywhere. Young pinned by Gastev. And we'll see another bounce, this time with everybody in. Two of the AFL's more experienced men in white in charge. Lee loses out to Ashenko, tries the backhander. Didn't succeed in getting rid of the ball, finally picked up by Ashcroft. Down towards left half forward, that'll be against Roberts for in the back. Pretty obvious sort of free to Bauer. And it transfers play to the members' side. Not a long kick. Merritt and Lambert. Or Bain. Sand out a medalist grab. Could have got a free kick. Lambert comes out with the kick though. Again, doesn't get too much distance, and that was courage shown by Justin Pickering. And he marked right on 50. His brother's already kicked a goal. He's having trouble with a the boot there. Lee about to be interchanged with David Cloak, so continuing on with their ploy of changing the Ruckman off the bench, Richmond. Round of applause for Cloakie as he comes on. We're back with Pickering. About 49 metres. And a bad sort of a kick. He's matched his brother at the goal. So Justin Pickering's first and Richmond's fifth, 5-1, 31, Brisbane, one goal, six points. Well, just harking back to that, Dennis, uh, we saw the difference there between a player who really was committed and wanted to go for the ball, and it was Justin Pickering on that occasion, as compared to uh, the Brisbane Bears player early in the quarter who was benched because of his effort, and that was uh, Mark Withers. So uh, Justin Pickering showed a lot of courage and determination going for the mark. 31 players, six. Just under 11 and a half minutes remaining. Cloak missed it. Well, almost it hit him. There goes the kick out of the middle by McIver. And the mark was taken by James. Cape playing behind far too much. Has to start making the move. James out wide. One of two could have taken that. It was Knights off to Bannock. Bannock on centre wing. Kicks down towards half forward. One-handed was Gale. Walsh goes off the ground and gets it out of bounds. Troubled times for the Brisbane Bears. Six losses in a row. And a very slow start tonight. Five, one to a goal. Shenko and Gale will do the ruck work. One down by Ashenko. Bain couldn't control it. Now he's in trouble. Dragged off it. Free through the pack. Clever little hand pass into open space. Pickering runs onto it. And he slotted the goal. He's That's a great effort. Six goals up for the Tigers. They're 6 1. The Bears, one straight goal. Go well, what can the Brisbane Bears do to uh, stop this onslaught at the moment? There doesn't appear to be much. As we look at the replay, Bain may have been a little bit unlucky not to receive a free kick there. He appeared to be uh, pushed in the back, but it didn't matter in the end because Michael Pickering, in great form on the forward line, kicking his third goal and putting the Tigers further in front. 29 points the difference three goals to Michael Pickering a dream start by Richmond Cloak tried to bat his way through McIver went for the hand pass Gibson to Hardy with better play Hardy didn't really look where he kicked it real up and under job Roberts Carlson Ashcroft at right half forward flank Ashcroft kick into the forward pocket 
and James sees it safely over the boundary line in front of Kevin Caton. So not a good start by the Brisbane team who, as we've mentioned, have lost the last six. They beat the Sydney Swans up at Carrara, and that was an upset success in itself. Cloak having been interchanged for Lee, who started well. Merritt gets in front. Lee, uh, Cloak wins out. Knights, Nichols. Over the head of Vashenko. Mitchell runs past him, but gathers in the ball. Gale lopes along at left centre wing. And played for Tasmania. Honey Bunt tried, didn't come out with the ball. Lambert on the end of a hand pass. Pretty scrambly out there, as we've mentioned, it has been raining. In fact, it still is rather lightly. Hardy finally, no, doesn't pick it up. The umpire, perhaps wisely, certainly wisely, will ball it up. It resembled something of a rugby scrum. No one was going too far, play. Bernie. Richmond's or inside 50 for Richmond. Kick by Free. Oh, Hardy by almost a great one hander. Is that played? Gee, it should have been. Gale has a shot, and one behind. I thought he had that honey bun, I thought it was a great effort. It was a great effort, and uh, it must have been pretty close to a mark. It certainly looked as if he held it for quite some time. So O'Keefe has the ball, he'll do the kicking in. Honey bun stands the mark. A great start by the Tigers in the opening tour. O'Keefe going to the other side. McIver, close to the boundary line, takes the mark. Scott McIver still in the back pocket taking plenty of time now kicks to centre wing Merritt cleared he and Goodwin waiting behind Cloak to Bannock on centre wing a centre ring kick towards centre half forward Gale is going back with a flight of the ball valiant attempt to mark Hardy stood his ground kicks through centre in front down there was Roberts it's fisted away by Young Nichols has it now he's at right half back Kicks it out wide. Michael Pickering. Like to know who's marking him. Zanotti arrived late. And Pickering's got the free. And I think it's Zanotti. I was watching that last set piece down on the Richmond forward line. A bounce of the ball. And no one was going to go near Pickering. There goes the ball inside 50. He's already got three. Michael Pickering. Ryan trying to crash his way through. And the ball's knocked out of bounds. So as we watch while play stops. Zanotti is still 10 metres away. I presume it is Zanotti, Bernard. Yes, he is. He's uh, picking up Michael Pickering. Correct. Loath to do it. Lambert. Justin Pickering still got the run of it. Decides to shepherd. Put some time and space for Young to Knights. Down towards the kickoff line. The Bears have got the numbers there. Gale controlled the pack, though. Got it to the back. Pickering again. He's kicked four. Start. Four goals in the first quarter. We've still got seven minutes left. Yes, it's been brilliant uh, play by Michael Pickering. He moves around well. He's not a stationary player. He can take a high mark. And the Richmond small men are really cutting the Brisbane Bears to pieces. That long kick into the forward line. Two Brisbane Bears players flying. One should have stayed down. And Zanotti caught Dennis again 10 metres behind Michael Pickering. Mm, frightening, isn't it? Four goals to Michael Pickering, a magnificent first quarter by the Tigers, 7-2 so far. And they couldn't have dreamt for better than that. This is Knights getting out of the centre square for the Tigers towards left half forward. And good strong mark, dragged in by Gale. Promising player for the Tigers, Brendan Gale. He's a big boy, he puts himself in front and goes for the marks. Patterson's old number, isn't it? 25? Sure you got me there. <laughs> I'm not sure. Doesn't look totally unlike him. He's certainly got the height to match. A kick from about 50 metres out for Richmond's eight for the quarter. Not with that kick. To almost a mark, a honey bunt to, uh, to Ryan. Been paid. Peter. He's been paid. And he's going to be right on the boundary line. Now, this is going to be tough as he decides to run around or look for a teammate in a better position. They're all covered. Now he's running around. Let's see what happens. Ryan shoots and I think has missed. One behind. A drag him. 7-3 to one goal. Ten effective shots to one. And let's point out 
if you missed the start of the quarter that that was a free kick to Warwick Kappa certainly was there Dale Waitman Richmond captain inactive tonight I don't really need him at the moment a kick will kick the ball in And Norm Dare and the Brisbane hierarchy will have a few things to say at quarter time, I'm sure, but it's been a magnificent opening by the Tigers, who really looked the goods after a thumping last Saturday. Terrible kick. Missed mark by Gibson. Lambert got it away to Gale. Justin Pickering inside 50, all the time in the world. Pulls it back towards the kickoff line. Honeybun, almost the one-hander off the ground. Nichols, another one. After watching the World Cup. They won't need a penalty shootout here. Roger Miller, 8-3 to a goal. Yes, that was real good. World Cup stuff there from Trent Nichols. Uh, not, a, not enough pressure being applied by the Brisbane Bears players. Justin Pickering had plenty of time to run down, have a bit of a fumble, steady, kick it long into the goal square on his left foot. Honey Bun again with that left or the one hand going for the mark, trying to hold out uh, who was he? David O'Keefe. Okay, yeah. So we're back in the middle. Just over five and a half minutes remaining till quarter time. Justin Pickering has played well, overshadowed by his brother Lambert. 20 metres with a hand pass to Powell. Down towards Knights. Bounces obligingly for him. Back into the path of Bauer. They're doing as they like at the present time, the Tigers. Bauer, long down towards full forward. Honeybun works his way in front. Richardson did well. A half chance there for Ryan, almost. Came off hands, though, and went through for a minor score. 8-4 to one goal. The last Friday night game I did at North Melbourne. At uh, Richmond, North Melbourne thumped the Tigers by an excess of 100 points. We're looking at a similar margin tonight on the other side of the ledger, I think. There's another one coming up. Young this time. And he's missed. Well, a couple of terrible kickouts from full back. No, first one, there, Bernie, is there? No, well, there is a bit up higher, Peter, but I don't think it would be having much effect down at ground level. But the first kick from O'Keefe when he went for that torpedo, no percentage at all. Drop punt this time, a better one. Let's see if the result is what's needed. Zanotti from Ashenko, who dribbles it towards centre wing. Roberts overruns it. Bauer. And right centre wing for the Tigers. That's not a great kick either. Nishenko tries to barge his way through, gets the hand pass away. Philip Walsh picks up the crumbs against one of his former clubs down towards left half forward. That should be a mark to Kennedy. See, that was a bit tough. It was punched away. Bauer comes up with the ball. So I think he's not running the way of the Brisbane Bears at the moment. Nishenko at the back is Leslie. The hand pass comes out to Lambert from goal. Lambert still got possession. Gastev and Hardy apply tackles, but there is going to be a free kick. Kicks to inside 50. O'Keefe up from the back. McIver free. Gastev in trouble. To his credit, got his kick in. On the boundary line was Walsh. Putting his teammate under pressure. Zanotti. Lambert. A good hand pass. Free. Intended for Mitchell. Backup support from Gale. But the hand pass just a little off target. And we'll see a throw in in Richmond's right forward pockets. Three and a half minutes left in the opening term. And it's been a brilliant one for the Tigers. Interesting, Pete, that Leslie has gone on to Michael Pickering. Must be for know-how. It can't be for pace. This is Ashcroft in the back pocket. Not a good kick. Gastiv rides a bump. Pushed in the back. That was bad by Mitchell. He could have done far better there. Just had to grab his jumper. That's right. Gastiv at half back. Even he is making kicking mistakes. Normally, he's a very good kick of the football. Ashcroft over the ball. Kennedy did well in a tight situation. Still he goes, confronted by Lambert, who did brilliantly in a tight situation. Got it across to Powell. Powell runs down towards the 50. Spears the kick in, ill-directed, and the mark is taken by Ashenko. Ashenko, deep in his own defensive area, across the ground. Very awkward for Hardy out there. Justin Pickering, too tall, and always in best position. Strange to kick it to there because uh, the Brisbane Bears players are out of position. Yep. Needed Hardy to be a contortionist. Zanotti drops it from behind. Sock is it back to midfield, under as far as Cloak, who pumps it back towards full forward. In from the side, Honeybun. This is Ashenko. Hardy. With plenty of time now. Running up towards centre half back. 
kicking towards center. Missed by Bauer. Two Tigers waiting behind. Powell to Nichols. Mitchell. Here's trouble for the Bears. Something good will come of this. Gale, 45 metres out. Oh, an untidy kick. That should have been a goal. Gee, if they kick straight, what could their score be? 8-6 now, 14 shots to one. Well, that's how the game's been, hasn't it? They've just dominated right from the first bounce. The Normie tear there, I think he's perplexed. He doesn't know what to do. Sitting alongside him is uh, Shane O'Sullivan. O'Keefe. Better kick in. Cloak. Good fist away. McIver. Picks up the crumbs well. Carlson. Zanotti. In front this time of Justin Pickering. But a bad kick. Caton and James. Caton slips over. And the only option for him was the boundary line. It'll be thrown back in. So many times their schools have let them down. Oh. They've got the ball and they've won the ball well. Even out of the back line, the hand passing's been poor. The kicking's been poor to position. And once again, that could have been... Uh, under Caden's chest, I had every chance to do so. Why did Carlson go to Zanotti on the other side anyway? Free. Picks up the ball at left half back for the Tigers. Kicks down to half four. Oh, Gibson did well. He was caught behind his opponent, Ryan, and then chipped in. Richardson takes the hand pass. The other side getting much distance with their kicks. That's a mark of Roberts. Mark Roberts at left centre wing. Brisbane badly needing a couple of goals before quarter time. Maybe they can get one because we're inside a minute left. Richardson, they haven't really gained much. And Mike Richardson about 60 to 70 metres out. He's got in short. Kappa on a lead and marks. And he's been the Bears' only scorer. They've just got the one goal. That was from a free kick. It's a good lead there by Warren Kappa too, Pete. He got out in front of Lees and really led as if he wanted the ball. And uh, it was a good, strong chest mark. I think Warwick never win too many man-to-man -man duels, but leading out, look good. Let's see what the kick looks like. It looks likewise, and that's a goal. Kappel's second goal, the Bears' second score. But they trail by six goals, six, and if you prefer, 42 points with 10 seconds remaining in the quarter. And good to see Warwick leading the way he did on that occasion. A number of times I saw him last season, he'd sit back and try to wrestle one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, that's not how he made his name. He was a leading player and he could jump. A very spectacular player. Only a few seconds left in the quarter. It's been a superb one for Richmond. Gastev to centre wing. And the mark as the siren goes, taken by Kennedy. And I don't think he'll have a kick from there. Even Dave McNamara couldn't boot that one. So at quarter time, as Norm Deere comes down to address the players, Richmond in a commanding position, 8-6 to two goals. It's quarter time at the MCG, and the Tigers lead by 42 points, 8-6 to two straight goals. Checking the goal scorers for the Tigers. Michael Pickering has four, Justin Pickering one. Other singles to Trent Nichols, Tony Free, and David Honeybun. And for the Bears, Warwick Kappa has both. Today's match is part of the CUB AFL 1990 Premiership season. Norm Dare. What a forlorn task that is. Under Michael Roberts now. 
Well, thanks, Dennis. And Kevin Bartlett was delighted. He wants a second quarter just like the first. He said that the, the on-ball players were tremendous. They got the ball out of the centre. He wants that maintained. And he was very happy with their forward setup, especially with all those goals. And Michael Pickering, who put in a real bad one last week, was fantastic, and he praised him. Norm Dare disgusted. He said they were second to the ball. They just blazed away into the forward line when they did get it up there, and there was absolutely no options all over the ground. Bernie, talk us through those. Well, the handball, the interesting one there, Dennis, 46 to 25. They've almost doubled the handball total of the Brisbane Bears. And uh, as you would expect, they're dominating in most positions. Marks 21 to 16. Hit out's the only one there behind, but it's not making any difference at ground level. Start of the second term, 42 points the margin. Richmond devastating in that first quarter. This is Nichols, hand passing to his own advantage, runs onto the ball on centre wing and sends play down inside 50. Michael Pickering, a star in that first quarter with four goals, couldn't take the mark that time, and Zanotti retreats. Takes it out of bounds, we've got a throw in. Well, that's an interesting one, Peter, wasn't it? It could have been <laughs> took a wide called, turn. Uh, yes, could have been called out on uh, deliberately out, I would have thought there. Yeah. Lost his bearings. This is Lambert. Leslie out of mid-air. McIver in trouble. Bain trying to give it back to McIver. Still he goes, pushed in the back by free, and will get the free. He did well, Scotty McIver there. He certainly played for that free kick, but he put himself in the position where he would have received the, the push in the back. Scott McIver, deep in his own defensive area, decides to play on, swings it out wide. In from the side, Mitchell. Leading back is Walsh, arriving quickly as Nichols. Nichols and Walsh tie it up. The Bears want a holding the ball decision out there. That would have been a little ambitious, I think, to claim that. And we've got a bounce just inside the boundary line. Eight, six to two goals. Blistering opening term from Richmond. Their lead should be bigger. They missed a few easy ones. Gale taken by Richardson in trouble. <laughs> Bain never had a chance with that hand pass. And so another ball up to take place on one of the heaviest parts of the ground. Bain, the last to get up. Good punch away. Zanotti. Leslie from a standing start. Kick short. And it's all Richmond players at the fall of the ball, and Big Gale has come down with it. Centering kick from the Tasmanian. Honeybun was the target. Leslie. Spins out of trouble and then into it. Gets written into the ground. And John Russo has decided on a bounce. And Keith the last to get up. Just remember, Bernie, all these hand passes travelling less than a foot are going down the stats. Totally worth the effort, isn't it? That's where they can be a little bit misleading. Honeybun has his kick smothered by Hardy. McIver to Bain. Knights, too long for him. Barry Young kicks a little bit straighter but not straight enough. So had these shots at goal from Richmond been more accurate, we could go home at half-time. 8-7 to two goals. 43 points the difference. Now Keith, who's done most of the kicking in, and some of them not great efforts in the first quarter. And that one's about 6 out of 10. Gastev, Hardy, kicks over the head of Nichols. Oh, strong mark to Bannock. Still only 17. Gee, they're haphazard coming into the forward line, though, the Brisbane Bears. They're giving the forwards absolutely no chance whatsoever. Knights kicks long. Zanotti punches clear, picked up by McIver. Loses some meterage, but gets it back to Philip Walsh. Walsh wide. Merritt close to the boundary line, lost it. So did Goodwin. This is Powell with a superior pace at half back across to Bannock. Back to Goodwin. Carlson's got a chance at that ball. Strong tackle by Carlson. Should have been rewarded, and is. Nichols had the ball and dropped it. They're set up by the hand pass there. Unfortunately, Nichols, the hand pass from Andy Goodwin, floated there and he had to wait for it. Carlson, wasting no time. Kicks well inside 50. Leading back in the race is James. With support, will go off the ground and does. Towards the boundary line. Richardson, can he keep it in? No, he can't. And it will be thrown in. So the Bears, nothing working for them at the present time. The much-travelled Mike Richardson. 
Jogs back towards centre wing as this boundary throw in takes place down towards the forward pocket. Merrick gets the kick away. Knights in deep trouble. Ashcroft dragged off it. Bannock has great composure, Bannock. In evidence there to Powell. Releases him from half back. He kicks towards half forward. Gale gives a contest. The ball free behind. Free's got it to Justin Pickering. Pickering running into an open goal. Puts it through. Another for the Tigers, greeted by the smiling goal umpire, 9-7 to two straight. And that's six goals between the Pickering brothers, two to Justin and four to Michael, all kicked in that first quarter. So uh, nine goals to the Tigers and six to the Pickering brothers as we see this in replay again. And this is where Richmond was so good. They run with a lot of players in support. They run it out of the back line very well, the half back line especially. Six goals to the Pickerings, four to Michael and two to Justin, and three who kicked a goal himself. Also, I think we could credit with an assist there. There's a centre square infringement. It's going to the Brisbane Bears. The recipient will be Alex Ovchenko at midfield. Do they need some goals? Straight down the centre of the ground, three Richmond players were at the fall of the ball. Bain tries to lead by example. Umpire John Russo will bounce it. Inside 50 for the Bears. Goodwin handing the ball back. And what can you say? Richmond have just been too good. Match of the day status last week, beaten by 59 points. They've certainly bounced back tonight. They're two games out of the five, and possibilities are they could still make it. Free kick going to Brisbane to be taken by Merritt. Game number 200. I'm sure he'll remember it when he finishes his football career, but not for the best of reasons, so far at least. First kick, Pete. I think a few other players would probably not have bothered the statistician too much tonight either. Merritt right on 50. For the Bears' third goal, won't even be a score. Big pack of players down there. Kappa was last to it. Ashcroft, Hardy. Snapshot. Oh, gee, is that a mark? Right on the line. Roberts has got it. And the umpire says, OK, go. Umpire hasn't moved. That's the angle he's got. Not too much light between the posts, is there? Well, you probably have to go for a banana kick here, I would think. And Bruce McAvaney was here, he'd say a check side. It's one behind, so we won't have to have a ball in. Or as we say, a boundary throw in. Seminology across the state line, 9 7 to 2 1. What do you say, Dennis? That wasn't centimetre perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Bannock in short. Ryan takes the mark. No one's standing the mark. He plays on, kicks through centre. Lee was there. Ashenko came over the top. Gale, clever hand pass into the path of Lambert. He couldn't control it. Gastov at close quarters and Notty. He caught one from Lee. Gastov goes again. Off to Bain. They descend on him. Richardson missed it. McIver, nicely done. A sweeping hand pass. Walsh. Hardy's got it now. Just forward of the wing, Brad Hardy. Toyed with the idea of going on. Now he squares the ball. Gibson, up from defence, has it just outside the 50. Goes in short down towards the pocket. And the mark is taken by Merritt. Great use of the body by Caton. Good shepherding, yeah. Could be. Uh, I thought the umpire for a minute there was going to pay a shepherding free kick there. Watch Caton off the ball. Well, he stood his ground. He was watching the ball. He just got in the way. I think having with that replay probably did it very well, Kevin Caden. An obstruction. So Roger Merritt will kick from about 40 metres out. They need this one. And he provides it. So the Bears get their third goal. 9-7 to 3-1. Yes, and a badly needed goal. There hasn't been much spark in this Brisbane Bears side. Roger Merritt playing his 200th. Has found kicks hard to come by on the forward line. And that is a very good kick for goal from Roger Merritt. 200 games has been a great performance. Safi left Essendon and now captaining the Brisbane Bears. Nine seven to three one. Seventeen and three quarter minutes left in the second term. Can the Bears come back? Ashenko looks for Gastev. Found him, but he can't get clear. 
huge pack of players out there. Finally, McIvers lose one off the side of the boot. And that's a strong mark to Powell. Free. One of Richmond's goal kickers. And as I mentioned earlier, has had a hand at another one. Zanotti. Off the hands of the pack. Towards Gibson on left centre wing. He wouldn't want to turn too quickly there. Centering kick. Or Caton tried for mark of the year. Didn't come down with it. Lees. Merritt. Not too many going anywhere at the moment. James. Hooks the ball out of the pack. Up towards the member stand flank. Justin Pickering falls over the ground. Pretty slippery. We haven't had that much rain, but she is rather heavy. Just kicks to centre wing. Off the hands of the players now. And now it is to Lambert. Almost a mark. In fact, the umpire has painted a real scoop by David Honeybun. Superb play there by Richmond. Great running support. And there's Honeybun on the lead. Perfect disposal. Great forward play by Honeybun. Just about taking a Dennis Lilly run up here too. He's gone back about 35 metres, hasn't he? Well, where's Hall? He just started the pickets. Kicks on 50. Oh, gee, it's just going to get there if it does. It doesn't. And the arms of big Alex Ashenko go up to drag it down. Carlson. Well, that kick from... He started on the bench. What's wrong with that? Sorry, Pat. That kick from Honeybun, he had another 10 metres he could have worked with there, Dennis, which would have probably made all the difference. Yeah, strange. Well, he marked just one metre out, didn't he? Might have cost them a goal. For the same scenario. And Bain this time. Slips over. And this gives 110%. Ooh. Zanotti dodged one from Lambert. Carlson to Richardson. And the Bears out of danger. Up towards right half forward. Can they build something from this? Roberts dispossessed. Applies a tackle. Which could have been construed as a little bit too high. But umpire Dennis Rich has decided to come in and bounce. Good, but I'm sure asked the question. The umpire comes up with a smile on his face, but no free kick to the Tigers. Just under 15 and a half minutes remaining in this first half. One down by Lee decisively, taken away by Powell. Ryan storms through centre, long kick inside 50. Honey buns the target. A timely fist from O'Keefe. It's on the ground. They stood around watching the Bears. Lambert got a toe poke. Down went Michael Pickering. O'Keefe gets it to Leslie. He's done a pretty good job since going on to Pickering. And he gets it out of bounds on the bounce. Well, I think the instructions at quarter time from Norm Dare would have been to handball at all costs. And they're starting to get some sort of system out of the back line, the Brisbane Bears. And they really need to get the handball going, the running game going, which uh, Richmond are very good at. 9-7-3-1, the Tigers lead. This is free. He's been very busy. Close to the boundary line, pulls it back across his body. Honeybun, strong mark. Had his name on that, didn't he? One grab. A lot of conviction there. So Honeybun, a chance to make amends for that miss a couple of moments ago. Yes, great mark there. Honeybun in front. Kept his eyes on the ball, his head up. And the one grab. Again, it's a long approach. He's back outside the 50, but will kick from about 40, I would imagine. No sign of the man on the mark. He's away to the left there. David Honeybun. A chance to stretch the lead for Richmond. Slides away to the right and hits the post about halfway up. So Richmond at 9-8. And Brisbane Bears lamenting at 3-1. Here's Brad Hardy to bring it in. Tiger fans enjoying this for the most part tonight. Hardy straight down the middle. Mashenko the target. The smallest man free came over the top and took the mark. Gaston tackles him. Don't know what that was about. It seemed a clear mark. Free plays on quickly. Now Knights runs inside 50. Kicks from 45. It's long. Has it got the carry? Yes, it has. It's raining goals at the MCG. The Tigers pull further away. It's 10-8 to 3-1. And the little men for Richmond really doing all the damage. Tony Free coming over the top there, taking a big mark. And he moves the ball on quickly. That's what the Tigers are doing very well. They're not static. They don't wait around and kick 
to a stationary pack of players. The little players are always running by and they're prepared to give the handball out all the time. Knights' his first goal. And Richmond doing as they'd like here. It's a bath at the MCG. Walsh to right half forward for the Bears. Out comes Caton. Doesn't get a good bounce. But Richmond doing as they like. And that's been the story of the match. Powell. Hand passes to Nichols. He would be one of the leading position gatherers on the ground. Tony Free. Marking just off the edge of the square. Centering kick. O'Keefe could have conceded a free kick there. Leslie finishes up with the ball. Short pass. Intense is to get it to Merritt, which he does. Marking in front of Gale. Merritt now at half back. Or at least that's where he's kicking from. Yeah, well, Mark has paid to Roberts, marking in front of Powell. A clever grab it was. Not really gaining much with that kick. Gastev has still retained possession. Pretty haphazard approach so far from Brisbane. Especially in that first quarter, Lee was up high. Good backup support from Goodwin. And <laughs> now he scores a try. <laughs> He's pretty happy with that too by the look on his face. <laughs> I mean, really, if they were going by the letter of the law, that's another deliberate out of bounds. Oh, I think it slipped, Bernie, didn't it? <laughs> You're finicky. Lee, Richardson, Kappa, couldn't get boot to ball. Goodwin, he will this time. And Gastev. Uh, whistle has gone. The free kick paid downfield yes. against Warwick Kappa after uh, Andy Goodwin kicked the ball. Justin Pickering kicks to Ryan. Centering kick from that player. Tigers on the run of plenty as they have been for most of the game. Picked up by Powell. Bauer down to left half forward. And slapped over the boundary line for Richmond by Michael Pickering. He's kicked four goals. In a great start. Was named on a wing. And up forward has been devastating so far. And those four goals kicked in the opening two. No possessions though in this term for Michael Pickering. So Leslie giving his due has come back at him. He was sensational in that first quarter. And probably if he goes possessionless in this quarter, he'll still figure amongst his side's best. McIver in trouble. Back to Walsh. Towards the pocket with the hand pass. Zanotti waited for it to bounce. Now he does likewise. Draws a couple of players over to Gibson. Back to McIver. Runs it up towards the middle of the ground. Bain. McIver again. Dragged off it. Gained only about 10 metres. Nichols put his body in. So did Knights. Bain at the base of all of that, working hard. And the umpire, no alternative but to bounce it. Well done by David Bain. Yes, I was just about to say that, Dennis. He did very well to hold that up. There's about three Richmond players ready to swoop on the ball. 10-8 to 3-1. Just under 11 minutes remaining till half-time. Cloak superbly. Nichols away. Penetrating kick, but in front this time it's the Bears. Merritt takes the mark. Merritt up from fullback. Back towards midfield. Two Bears. Well, Walsh is a better mark than Bain, just as well. Gaston in trouble. Strong tackle got him down. Justin Pickering. Walsh, though. McIver. Board of the centre circle. Long down towards full forward. Lees and Kappa. Good mark, Kappa. He used his body well there, Warwick Kappa kept uh, Brian Lees behind him. The ball coming in not very high. It was a good, strong chest mark in the end. But uh, Lees had no opportunity to get his fist to the ball. Doesn't normally miss. Kicking at his third here. Good to see him back and kicking some goals. Warwick Kappa, close to the man on the mark, lofts it and gets the goal. The fourth on the board for the Brisbane Bears. They're 4-1 and they trail the Richmond Tigers 10-8. And I think, Dennis, if my memory serves me right, the last time Warwick Kappa had a really good day was against the uh, Richmond side when they played at Carrara a couple of seasons ago. He played on Brian Lees and kicked seven or eight goals. He's got three so far, so a good start for him. Under 10 minutes left in the half. Warwick Kappa's third goal, so can the Bears build on something now? McIver, kick short. Chance for the Bears again, picked up by Withers. That kick going pretty close, but Lees this time. Kappa went to Shepard it through. James, and the ball just didn't have the carry. 
Not towards half back and Knights. Kick from left half back to centre wing. Gibson leaves it for Zanotti. Mitchell has been quiet this turn. That's out of bounds. And right on the true centre wing position. Clayton's a little bit of a worry playing in that forward pocket because uh, Stephen James has been able to run off him all night and provide plenty of run out of the back line. There's a couple of veterans. 200 games on the left and David Clark over 300. So add them up. Over 500. Gibson. Hardy. Good tackle by Cloak. Lambert's block. Not successful. He gets his kick in. Well, that's a mark, surely. Goodwin could even get 50. Umpire says no. Play on. Lambert will. Lambert just short of left centre wing. Puts the Tigers into attack again. Kicks to half forward. Merritt showing better judgment. And he's done much better in defence than he did in attack. Oh, dear, oh dear. Bain went the wrong way. He'll give it back to Hardy. So no damage done. Bain's been a real try for the Bears. He's done particularly well. Walsh. Oh, oh. Bobby Simpson would have been happy with that effort. <laughs> well, Lashenko now playing centre-half forward uh, on uh, Andy Goodwin and Roger Merritt doing the ruck work. Let's take a look at Goodwin's effort there. Well, just about had it. Oh, he gee, it's almost a mark. Nearly jarred at three when it hit the ground. Cloak slaps down. Lambert picks up well. Hand pass over the shoulder. Bannock in trouble. Tried to beat two of them. Hardy puts the body in front of the ball. The boundary line was too close. So a throw in right next to the interchange area will follow. Brad Edwards has been brought on for the Brisbane Bears for his first run, playing in the ruck. Richmond 10-8, Brisbane 4-1. Boundary throw in, centre wing. Cloak and Edwards. Edwards clean possession, gets the kick towards half forward. Well picked up by Bauer. This is James on the burst. Long kick out wide, Michael Pickering. Will this be his first possession? Yes, it is. Back to Ryan. Goes down towards the pocket. Storming down there is Young, who's been quiet. Coming up from full forward is Honeybun. Pulls it back across his body. Knocked away from Nichols by Richardson. Well played, though. It came down to a Tiger who goes long towards full forward. And misses. It was Honeybun. That was James. Right up the ground there. Who took that kick. And missed to the right-hand side. Cloak. This is Knights inside the centre square. Missed kicks, but even that will work tonight. Nichols, only about 35 metres out from goal. He's been busy. 15th possession upcoming for Trent Nichols. Should be a formality from here. On its way. Mm. Scratch of the head. Misses to the right hand side. So a wry smile from the rover. And really that's in keeping with the game so far. 10 9 to 4 1. I think they were about 7 2 at one stage, too. Zanotti slips over on the greasy turf. Merritt having a good quarter after quiet in the opening term. As I said, he's done better in defence than he had, or did do in attack nights. Marking in front of Roberts. It's on left centre wing for Richmond. Not a long kick. Merritt in front again. Can't complete the mark. Bain on the bottom of the pack. Now there goes Pickering. That's Michael Pickering on the top of uh, him. And umpire John Russo will bounce it. Having a few words to say. as Big Roger. Long VFL career. Nichols again. 16th position. Centering kick. Will it bounce right for the Tigers? It doesn't. McIver. Gastev. Got a hand to it, but only succeeded in putting it over the line. Whether that was his intent or not, it was certainly to the benefit of his side. 69 to 25. Remembering Richmond led at the first change by 42 points. And that should set them up for the win. In the fact, they'd be successful here tonight. Merritt taps down. And the ball beating Michael Pickering over the boundary line again. So I don't know that either side gained anything there. Maybe the Bears did by perhaps a metre and a half. Honey Bunt getting the front position this time. And wins it. Gastev. Nichols. Very busy around the packs. Looping hand pass to Ryan. Has to get rid of it pretty quickly. Honey Bunt again in front of Hardy. Now a chance for Pickering. Did he go for the shot or not? McIver could have got a free kick. 
out to Richardson who fumbles, might be crucial in the wash up. Did well to get a hand pass back to McIver. Free though for his second goal. If he's accurate, snapshot looks good, it's there. Eleven nine before one. The bath. Yes, that's exactly right, Pete. Uh, two goals to Tony Free. And the Brisbane Bears just not sure of their ball handling. Tony Free applying a very hard tackle there to Michael Richardson, then jumping up quickly to intercept that hand pass from Scott McIver. And the Brisbane Bears skill level is atrocious at the moment. So the margin is 50 points now. Just over four minutes remaining till half time. Merritt, a big leap. Carlson tried to control it, couldn't. This is Cloak, nimbly done. The way to Lambert. Gets the kick off from inside the centre square. Strong mark is taken in front by Honeyman. Well, it's a procession. The Tigers dominating the centre square. And just about everywhere else on the ground. Yes, that's one thing David Honeybun's not scared of doing, putting his body in front. Keeping his eye on the ball. And uh, he's a strong grab when he makes that front position because he was under a lot of pressure there from Matthew Kennedy. Kennedy would have been better advised though to take the arms there. He was reaching for the ball, trying to get the ball clean. Probably a swing across the arms may have been a little bit better for them. Still, that's history. Here's Honeybun. Kicks from about 30 metres out and slides it across the face and through it goes for a behind. Ball adds to the lead. Richmond 11-10. The Bears 4-1. Kennedy, where will he go? Indicative of the night. Decides to go to the outer side. Two on one situation out there. Ashenko needs to mark. Well under the ball. Cloak takes it. Justin Pickering has it now. He's at right half forward and centers it superbly to Gale. Gale, too far out to score, I'd suggest. He thinks so too. Goes in short to Ryan. Sure, it should have been 50 metres. Yeah, so just thinking. Went straight in front of the player and tried to hit it out of his hand. Ryan will kick from the 50. Eleven ten to four one. Just to increase the lead. He decides to go short. And the mark is taken about 15 metres further afield by Justin Pickering. Who's that? He's Bauer. He's hurt pretty badly too. He might have got one on the hip. Which is a pretty painful place to cop one he'll be a very sore boy I think by the end of the game a lot of smiles tonight it's a happy game in its way isn't it there's Gibson making sure oh, you heard that as you see knee. that left knee right in the back so the defenders are pushing up the ground we saw James have a shot at goal just a few moments ago and now Bauer has a false start he'll kick from about 45 meters out Shooting at the 12th goal for the Tigers. Starts it right. It's bending back nicely. Not quite the carry. Pushed against the post. And a minor score. 11-11 to 4-1. 22 effective scoring shots to 5. Leslie marking in front of Mitchell. And then decides to play on. Goes in short with the kick, and it'll see Ryan almost take the mark. Roberts, McIver, gets around Ryan. Now they'll get out of trouble. Long way to do it, though. Gibson's kick to centre wing, out of bounds. Right next to the, inter uh, the interchange area. In fact, it's right in the middle of it. Which is close to centre wing on the MCG. Edwards and Cloak. Cloak's experience wins out, taps out the back. Bauer couldn't get rid of the ball quickly enough. Slapped out the back again. Thrown out. Ashcroft. Richardson. Roberts. Lambert in pursuit. Wobbly punt kick up towards Warwick Kappa. Lee's in front of him. Gets a good hip and shoulder. Merritt. Good work. Wins out. The big bear couldn't take the mark. And the Tigers are away again. This time for Ryan. He's got a paddock to move on. Short of right centre wing. Chips the ball in short. Gale takes the grab. Zanotti refuses to pick up a man tonight. He's now playing on uh, Brendan Gale and he's giving him plenty of latitude as well. 
Knights, after two bears sprawled each other, good tackle by Bain, and has left to McIver. Ball slews off the side of the boot, but it might suit the team because it's rolled over the boundary line, and at least it will give them some risk. What do you do in that situation, Bernie, when a player refuses to pick up? Well, maybe Put him Blaine. on the forward yeah, line. Exactly right. <laughs> maybe forward. centre half forward. <laughs> so there's a boundary throw in. You know the full forwards always pick up their men. Oshenko and Gale. Oshenko wins it forward. Awkward bounce. Went back into the pack. Gale slaps it out wide. Gastiv had it. Dragged off it by a free. In goes Carlson. He lost it too. Tony Free. Hunt against the boundary line. Hoists it very high. Big pack into the air. Falls to Ryan on the 50 metre line. There's the siren for half time. And fittingly, the ball ends up with a Richmond player, Trent Nichols. They've had most of it during the first half, hence that scoreline, 11-11-77 to 4-1-25. I guess you could say a better quarter by the Bears because they kicked 2-1. Richmond added, can I say, only three goals, five. But, of course, they missed a lot of shots that could have been goals, should have been goals, and hit the post twice. Yes, well, Honeybone kicked a couple of behinds and one that didn't quite make the distance. But, uh, gee, the Brisbane Bears are a pathetic sight as they walk off the ground at half time. So half time at the MCG, the Tigers leading big 11 11 to 4 1. Certainly proving a tough night for the Brisbane Bears. They trailed by 42 points at quarter time. It's out to 52 points at half time. For Richmond, Michael Pickering has four goals. They all came in the first quarter. Two each to Justin Pickering, Trent Nichols and Tony Free. And a single to David Honeybun. For the Brisbane Bears, Warwick Kappa has three. And Roger Merritt has one. Hopefully, Brisbane can make a game of this in the second half. Well, can the Brisbane Bears make a game of this one? That remains to be seen. We'll find out shortly. Welcome back to the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Half time. Richmond lead 11 11 to Brisbane's 4 1. And Bernie, any chance of Brisbane getting back, forming <laughs> some sort of revival? I can't see it, Dennis. No. I was afraid you'd say that. I can't see it at all. Oh, no, Whiteman there, out injured with a uh, medial ligament. But uh, it's been all one way traffic in this first half as we look at the stats. And as you would expect, Richmond dominating in every area. Hit outs, even in that quarter, they got on top again. Roger Merritt was thrown into the ruck, but handball's 160 to half time. That is amazing. There's Roger running through the banner. I don't think he'd be feeling much like it <laughs> running through a banner at this stage of the game. Technically, it's 200 and a half, isn't it? <laughs> yes, well, that's right. But uh, Roger has tried hard. But look at that 116 handballs, as I said, to 87. Even the Brisbane Bears have had a lot of handballs, but they've been, when they've been under a lot of pressure and tried to get the quick handball away. Richmond's tackling has been enormous, 17 to 10, almost double the tackles. And uh, free kicks, Brisbane Bears, probably the only thing that's keeping them within striking distance, if they are within striking distance, but still uh, 52 points down, they've got a long way to go. Here's Michael Roberts on the boundary. Well, thank you, and uh, it was a pretty confident Tigers camp uh, at half time because being eight goals up, uh, they can afford to smile, but Kevin Bartlett still moved his players up due to the fact that they lapsed in that second quarter. They really only got going after about the 17-minute mark of that second quarter. He praised players like Bauer and Powell running off the half-back line. Mark Lee, he felt, was inspirational out there with his younger players, and he really revved him up at half-time to keep things going with Cloak off the boundary. He said to maintain the skill level, tremendous passing and good hands. They were pinpointing their targets, and I noticed that Tim Powell was dry-reaching after a heavy knock in that first term, but he'll be okay. Thanks, Michael. 
Let's check some individual player stats, Peter. And Trent Nichols, great start to the game. Eight kicks in the first quarter and two handballs and a total of 17 possessions so far. And we, we mentioned Richmond's on-ball players have completely outclassed their Brisbane opponents. He's been a prime mover. Scotty McIver came into the game in that second half. Uh, 11 handballs, started off in the back line, probably not uh, a position that he's accustomed to with the Brisbane Bears, but one of the better players. Matthew Knight, 17 possessions so far, two good quarters. Mark Roberts has tried very hard for Brisbane Bears on the four lines. Seven kicks, four handballs. Start of the third term of the MCG. It's been all the Tigers so far. Can the Bears find something? Lee wins it down. Mitchell couldn't control it. Free, the hurried kick inside 50. It seems more of the same. Leslie has done well since going on to Michael Pickering. This is Kennedy. Swings it out wide. Roberts in front. Timely fist came from Bauer. Falling over was Gale, but he slaps it his team's way. On the ground, Gibson. Hurried kick forward from Carlson. Lee got a fist on that one. Taken by Withers. In trouble. Hurriedly onto the boot. Down towards left half forward. Only man there is Powell. All the time in the world to find Bauer. The defensive side of centre wing. Kicks long towards centre half forward. Fisted away by Edwards. Bain arrived. Coming out backwards was Lambert. Justin Pickering. Got it to Michael Pickering. Away to Nichols now. 55 metres out. Long down towards full forward. How will it bounce? It goes towards the boundary. And seen out of bounds by Kennedy. Honeybun was there too. So a boundary throw in left forward pocket for Richmond. And kicking to that same end of the opening term. They booted eight goals, six put the side in a fantastic position. Honeybun slaps down. Leslie rides his opponent almost into the ground. McIver diving on top of it. And he's the last man to get up. He's the man with the football. The Bears, like the man with the barrow, they've got the job ahead of them. Bounce only metres from the boundary line. And Zanotti on his own. He has been most of the night. Lee in front. Ishenko. Knight. A quick kick. Back it comes to Zanotti again. And on his knees. Mark Zashenko once more. Looks for the hand pass. Oh, Merritt. Mitchell. The ball obviously pretty slippery. Richardson off the ground was good play. He did have some light rain in the first half. Bauer. Lee. Lee outside the square. Tried for the spiral punt. Didn't get onto it really. Bounce favours Richmond. Pickering slaps down. Leslie, is he in possession of the ball? According to the umpire, yes. Maybe harsh. I think the look on his face tells it all. Michael Pickering kicked four goals in the first quarter to set up the Tigers. Honeybun. Kennedy kicks to the boundary line and finds it successfully for a throw in on what is the heaviest part of the ground. Richmond booted 3 5 to 2 1 in the second quarter so it was a better display by the Bears but they trailed by 42 points at the first change and that's a long way to come back from Edwards up in ruck for the Brisbane Bears he started on the bench Lambert turns on a thrippity bit gets around Leslie and shoots at goal not a bad sort of a shot Honeybun. now what sort of an angle was he going to be on he's kicked one goal already Might have to go a little bit closer to the boundary line. Oh, it's nice to crib a bit, Bernie. Well, he tried, but the umpire well aware, well aware of what he was trying to do. He's on a fairly tight angle, but uh, he is favoured that he's only about uh, seven or eight metres out from the goal face. A pretty acute sort of an angle. Let's see what he does. Is he going to run around? No. Banana kick attempted and looks like it's successful. It's a goal. Honeybun second goal, the Tigers 12th, 12 11 to 4 1. And David Honeybun has been very good for the Tigers, uh, providing a focal point. He's very strong in the air. Kennedy again a long way away from uh, Honeybun when he was taking that mark as we have a look at that kick, the banana kick. And executed perfectly by David Honeybun.
So the margin is 58 points now. The early minutes of this third term. Vashenko, Lee came over the top. Gastiv couldn't control it. Free. Hurried kick out towards left half forward. Zanotti got a boot to it. Lambert almost pushed in the back. Dives on top of it. Bain emerges with it. Upended by Nichols. Dragged off it by Nichols. Hamilton's got it. And the two little fellows in the bantamweight division shape up to each other momentarily. We've got a bounce just outside the 50. Gale to do the ruck work for Richmond, favoured by the bounce. Flattened by Edwards, having thumped at about 25 metres Richmond's way. And it will be a free kick to Gale. He could have almost been downfield, couldn't he? Well, technically, I suppose that would have been right, Pete, because he thumped it around about uh, 30 metres when he was cleaned up. Here's Gale towards the pocket. Don't know who that was intended for. Kennedy's got it. That was ambitious. Lambert nailed him. Michael Pickering, quick hands to Lambert. No support was on. Wesley on his knees to McIver. That's a good hand pass out. Walsh to Gastiv. Now they can make something of this as Bain runs up towards the centre. He's had a bounce. He's adjacent to the centre circle. Goes down towards centre half forward. Ill directed. Should have done far better. James on the burst. Worth a couple of Bears kicks inside the 50. Almost a mark to Michael Pickering. Not paid. Richardson comes away. Sends it back towards the Bears half forward line. Ishenko is up. Couldn't mark. This is Withers. Got a good shepherd to release him. He's inside 50 and decides to run away from goal. To Ishenko. Across it comes now to Caton. They should get a goal here. Merritt 20 metres out. Gets it across to Hardy. Well, that's difficult. He kicks it around the corner. Kappa was on in the square. But it shouldn't have gone that far. A couple of hand passes too many. Well, they're disgraceful, actually. They say the Brisbane Bears, the way they play the game. They've got no idea whatsoever. They've got players on the forward line who won't play as a team. Brad Hardy, on that occasion, could have got it over the top to uh, Warwick Kappa. It would have been a certain goal. Walsh, late on the scene, from Bannock's kick in. Out of bounds, right on 50. Yes, Kappa was on his own in the goal square, so I guess you'd have to say rather selfish. And he didn't even look at the goals anyway. Phil Hardy. <laughs> Blind turn. Lee wins the tap out, can't get it very far. Hardy knocks it further forward. Ryan might get to it. No, he won't. He beats the big fellow over the line for a throw in, but the Bears have made something like 20 or 30 metres. Well, he's playing on the forward line, of course, now Brad Hardy. He played in the back line in that first half. Now playing forward pocket. Lee and Dushenko, and again Lee wins, and wins well, comes away with the ball, on a power, right on the boundary line, looks for free, couldn't find him, a bad hand pass, and it comes to Zanotti, Edwards, had it and then lost it just as quickly, a real scramble next to the square, Edwards finally with the hand pass, Richardson, Gibson, comes backwards, Leslie, right in the circle, wide of Ryan, goes straight, Dushenko in front, James late on the scene might have been a free kick anyway but Ashenko was in kicking distance we would think well, I don't know with Alex Ashenko's kicking he's not the uh, most reliable kick I've answered my unasked question directly in front though so he has that in favour and Roger Merritt likes it through for a goal Schenko's first, and the Bears first this quarter, 5-2, but they trail Richmond 12-11. Well, since quarter time, Richmond really have only kicked four goals, and I don't think Kevin Bartlett would be very happy because they've worked pretty well around the middle of the ground and haven't converted when they've got the ball into that forward line. It's a good kick there by Alex Schenko, in fact, from about 40 metres out, playing now in the ruck and changing at centre-half forward. Richmond by 51 points. This is Knights taken high. Advantage paid, is it? No. Not much advantage there. If in fact, it was. So it comes back to Matthew Knights alongside the centre circle. Having a wonderful season. He'll go for distance. Honeybun's the target, and why not? He's been strong in that area. It comes off hands. Michael Pickering missed it. Leslie, probably the Bears' best player. But Mitchell, like Breeze Lightning, gets it to Free, who misses to the near side. Wouldn't be easy being a defender down there tonight. And Martin Leslie has stuck at it manfully. From the South Australian star from Port Adelaide. 
of the great clubs of Australian football. Kennedy, member's side, standing his ground was Ryan, couldn't hang on. Bain in trouble. Lambert going nowhere. Zanotti now. Thought about Carlson, then kicks through centre wing. Awkward bounce for Merritt, taken by Goodwin. Goodwin long towards half forward. Mitchell, 15 metres in the clear, goes against the grain, cuts back, pulls it across his body. Honeybun, Kennedy works his way in front though, did well. Carlson, great tackle, Honeybun. Ball jarred free, taken by Knights, gets it across to Lambert. Plenty of time, measures the kick and pops it through for another one. First goal, Richmond 13, 13-12 to 5-2. Well, as you called there, Dennis, uh, a good work coming from David Honeybun. Look at that tackle again, a magnificent tackle on Darren Carlson. And that set up the play there, ending up with uh, Craig Lambert, who kicked his first goal. But it's good to see the forwards, the full forward there especially, doing the hard work, the chasing, and desperate to keep the ball into that forward line. 16 and a quarter minutes left in the term. O'Keefe, Mitchell. 20 metre hand pass to Justin Pickering, who went for the knock on, not successfully. Lee applies a tackle. Merritt trying to crash through. Richardson, likewise. Zanotti, ultimately, down towards right half forward. Ball seems to stick in the glue pot there. Roberts taps it forward. They had a bit of a dust up behind play. Goodwin in the thick of things. And the fight continuing, uh, continues, so does play. It's on the Bears' forward line. Hardy, can he make amends for a shocking miss before? Oh. Not this time. O'Keefe, maybe. No, the ball beats him out of bounds. So uh, Hardy's had a couple of possessions up there. I think you can see steam coming out of his ears. Lee, late on the scene. Ball tapped down in front of James. Kappa got a nudge in the back. Scooped away from O'Keefe. Zanotti tries to crash through. Good tackle, Lambert. O'Keefe finally. And the snapshot from Roberts was out of bounds on the foot. Mm. Well, the tackling from Richmond has been outstanding from both their defenders and their centre line players. And uh, really, the Brisbane Bears forwards haven't had a moment's peace. They haven't been able to have an easy shot at goal. Hamilton kicked it in. Knights has got it now. Through centre wing, too much carry for Gale. Richardson leads back in the race on his own half back line to Leslie. Something good should come of this for the Bears, and it does. Gastiv, that was a good kick. The class players in the Bears, only a few of them, stand out. Withers, long through half forward. Big pack into the air. Bannock got it forward. Taken by Merritt. Little spin turn, but lost the ball. Keeps it going the Bears' way, though. Here's Hardy. He's inside 50. Can he make amends? He pulls it back. That's a lovely kick. The Bears get their sixth goal. They're 6-2, and Richmond are 13-12. Brad Hardy's first. Brad Hardy, I think, is much better playing on the forward line. He's a player who, of course, won the Brownlow medal playing as a defender. Roger Merritt has tried very hard. Been even uh, construed as a throw that uh, little tap on but Brad Hardy always very keen to swoop on the ball and brilliant skills on the left foot Brad Hardy's first goal and the Bears sixth 6-2 six to 13-12 there's a center square infringement it's going Richmond's way this time and the recipient of the free kick Mark Lee to half forward Leslie and Pickering and Leslie's done pretty well there Nichols did he get one in the back from Bain I would have thought so on the ball uh, depends what part of the ground it is. <laughs> on that occasion, it's on the forward line, right in front of goal. And that definitely looked like a push in the back. Here it is again on Nichols. Well, he dived forward and dropped it. Yeah, I agree with that decision. Well, you might have been right there in the end, the umpire. He's a got pretty good vision if he could pull that one out. Merritt. The hand pass to Carlson. And Carlson kicks down towards the right half forward flank for the Brisbane Bears. Marking contest, none paid. Powell, or Bauer. And it comes to centre wing again. Young. Gastiv. Gastiv just wide of the square. Hardy at the back. And the Roberts missed the mark. Justin Pickering. Kicked a couple of goals as well. The Pickering boys have starved tonight. James running well out of defence. He travels about 45 metres. Up high was Leslie. Couldn't bring down the mark. Ryan does it well. 
doubles back on himself. Justin Pickering, uh, Michael Pickering, back to Knights. Knights from right centre wing. Kicks into the fourth pocket. And Honeybun again. Strong mark. And we've said that a few times tonight. Honeybun has capped off his work with two good goals. Now that is a strong mark. Put out in front of his face. And a lot of pressure from Matthew Kennedy. So David Honeybun. The kick for goal as David Cloak comes on. And the kicking from inside the 50 metre line. Just marginally anyway. He sliced that one a little bit. Maybe a behind. I think that was rather generous from the goal on part. From our position anyway. So a behind to Richmond, their 13th. 26 effective scoring shots to eight. And they lead 91 points to 38 as Kennedy prepares to kick in again. Not too much on offer, it would appear. And he decides to go out wide to the outer side. Zashenko is out there, body to body with Gale, and he takes a very good mark, Alex Zashenko, to Bain. And despite the scores, as Leslie has it now, this is certainly the best quarter of the game so far. The Bears showing a lot more endeavour. Withers, it's a competition for the first time over two and a half terms to date. Kappa close to the boundary line. It came off Lees. At least Kappa thinks it did. Well, it's not a good spot to kick the ball anyway from Withers. A lead from Kappa right into that pocket. Much better to come right up the middle of the ground into that corridor. Cloak should have got a free kick. Not forthcoming. Down with Hardy. Still in the congestion. O'Keefe fell over. Cloak gets a kick anyway. Now Powell's got the run of it. Gathered it beautifully. Shrugs a tackle. Still he goes. Well played by Tim Powell. And a fine player this season. Gibson went down behind play. Shepard it off the ball. At too great a distance, according to the umpire, I fancy. Yes, against uh, Brendan Gale there. And really, I don't need a Shepard at all because uh, it's a finicky free kick, really, isn't it? Well, his teammate was well clear there. Yeah. And uh, there's no need to be involved. Here goes the kick from Gibson. Schenko slipped in front. Cloak. Nichols. Can he control it? That time he was pushed in the back. <laughs> was going to get the kick. And on the outer side go Richmond then. Diving mark is taken by McIver. So Cloak picking up a few kicks. Scott McIver though has this one for the Bears. Back through midfield. Schenko uncontested. He's tried pretty hard tonight, Alex Schenko. Plays on. Put it to open space. Withers a half chance, couldn't control it. O'Keefe away to Walsh. Walsh kicks down towards the pocket, going back is Merritt. Well weighted kick that one. So Roger Merritt playing his 200th AFL game. Played plenty of reserve football at Essendon too, so he's been around a heck of a long time. Man's familiar, former umpire. Yes. Ian, Clayton. Ian Clayton doing the running for Brisbane. Short pass to Bain. Uh, knocked away by Knights. Desperate attempt to make amends from Merritt all to no avail. Knights around the outer side. McIver gets a fist on it. This is Tony Free. Forward of half back, kicking towards half forward. Leslie over Michael Pickering. Can't speak too highly of his effort. Ashcroft gave it to Edwards, who goes in short. Withers gets the hand pass away to Carlson. Carlson to Ashenko. Who kicked a goal from this very same position only five minutes back this time on the run and he's missed to the far side one behind well Just, his possessions are pretty good aren't they seven kicks and eight handballs seven marks he was uh, slotted into center half forward position when things weren't going all that well for the brisbane bears and uh, he certainly can hold his head up bannock from a number one draft choice by or for the tigers not a great kick in now merritt has got the ball Mark or free kick? What did he pay the bill? Well, I think he may have paid the mark. Let's see what happened. It could have been a bit of each way anyway, but uh, well, I don't think he, he could have paid the mark. In fact, I don't think he controlled it for long enough, so he must have paid the free kick. Well, we'll put it down as a free. Well, within kicking distance. And a kick from about 45 metres out, Roger Merritt. And he's 200th, he'll get the distance. But like his teammate Emma Tushinko has missed at the far side as well. So another behind to the Bears tally. They're fourth, 6-4. They still trail Richmond 13-13 by 51 points. 
Benek again. Let's see if he goes a bit longer. He does. Cloak in for it, and good one it was. Free. Well, Lees. Gastiv. Got a fingernail to it. Powell. Long hand pass. Knock on by Nichols. Bow at right centre wing for Richmond. Decides to go for a bounce. In fact, make it two. Beautiful sidestep to get around Carlson and then gets cleaned up for his efforts by Oshenko. <laughs> by Zanotti. Yes, well, he just tried to do a little bit too much there. It's good bump. It was a good, uh, good play. He, he uh, dodged a couple there and just tr probably tried to do uh, one too much, one too many things there. The forwards uh, have made all their leads. Kicking from about 55 metres out. And rushed through and off the hand of the pack, whichever you like, for one behind. By Bauer. Point to the uh, Richmond side, 13-14. Now, 92. And Zanotti deciding to go on with it. He just should point to the scoreboard. I think that would be the bottom line, wouldn't it? Shenko at the back, taking a good mark. Down to Carlson. Carlson at centre field. Free in pursuit. Won't catch him. Kicks to half forward. Brad Hardy reads it better than most after Lee spilt the mark. Shot at goal. Will bounce through, and that's Hardy's second. Should have had three, although I suppose he should have given it to Kappa earlier. 7 4 to 13 14. Yes, well, Brad Hardy's kicked two goals, one all coming in this third quarter. The home back there, the player that we didn't see running in was David O'Keefe. He wasn't in the picture at the start, but Brad Hardy could have easily popped it over the top to him and made a certainty of that goal. So the Bears have outscored Richmond in this term, 3-3 three, three to 2-3. Two, three. And that's more like it. They're plugging away, and full credit to them. Shenko goes up, but straight down to Lambert. High kick towards half forward. Gale going back. With him is Edwards. Gale an opportunity again. Very nimble for a big man. Kennedy coming in the other direction. Very untidy hand pass. Let's assume it was intended for Walsh. Leslie to Carlson. Then he shakes his head. Carlson up from half back. McIver to Zanotti. So the Bears look better now as he goes down towards the pocket. Hardy takes the mark. And you've got to say, too, that the positioning of this beer side since quarter time has been far more rational. Yeah, it's much better now. Uh, I think Brad Hardy should always play on the forward line. He does pick up a lot of kicks on the back line, but he never picks up a man. Very loose. He can't defender. afford to 42-point starts, though, for the either, can he? No, well, he has been the leading goal kicker for the Bears, I think, last season. So uh, it's a wonder that he isn't playing on the forward line all the time. He already has two in this term, Brad Hardy. Has it got the carry? Yes, it has. That's a great kick from there. Great goal. So Brad Hardy has three. There's an umpire in his ear. And the Bears are coming back. They're 8-4 to 13-14. Well, I think uh, Richmond better get a move on because uh, the Brisbane Bears all of a sudden have found something and they're working the ball well out of defence. Uh, Mark Zanotti providing some run out of the back line. And if they can do that, it puts so much more pressure on the Richmond defenders. Bannock has played on uh, Brad Hardy all through this quarter, and maybe it's time to make a switch there. 40 points the difference. That's the closest the Bears have been since quarter time when they trailed by 42. Mitchell, beautifully read, out of the centre. This could be the quick reply that they need. Up the honey bun, almost the mark. Couldn't take it. Two Bears pouncing on it, and it's slapped over the boundary line. Richmond's right forward pocket. Honey bun. So desperately close to taking the grab. He has played well. He kicked two goals and has been a focal point for them up there. Edwards and Honeybun contest. It's won by Honeybun. Down goes free. Did he have the ball? Umpire says play on. Looping hand pass to Richardson. Mitchell again. Too far out the score. It's four on one. Michael Pickering, never really a chance. Mark Zanotti's off the ground. Richardson came back on, and Zanotti was very animated coming off, and now he's having an animated conversation, I would imagine, with Norm Dare. Justin Pickering. Let's go the hand pass to his brother over his shoulder. 
Cloak Shepherds well for Knights. Centering kick. Young is the fly. Haven't seen too much of him tonight. And the ball up will take place 30 metres out from the Tigers' goal. Leslie, the last to get up. Only four positions for Barry Young. Very crowded around the bounce. Young, again, trying to slap the ball into open spaces. Leslie does likewise. Richardson might have caught one in the back. The umpire says no. Pickering for goal number five. But has he missed it? He certainly missed the goals. And the goal umpire indicating one behind. Lucky to squeak in for that. 13-15 to 8-4. So 41 points the difference. As we await the kick in from Kennedy. He's going short. Looks four and finds Richardson. Oh, gee, that's just about a charge. Certainly should be 50 metres, I think, something like that, because uh, Mark, uh, Mike Richardson certainly took the mark, and Michael Pickering hit him with everything after he took it. Leslie has it now, the defensive side at centre half back. Just over four minutes remaining. A look of grim determination on the face of Martin Leslie as he sends play members' side. It'll be interesting if the Bears got the next two goals in this game. Mm. They're not done yet. Edwards in trouble. Ashcroft, untidy hand pass, beautifully read by Nichols. Into the path of Justin Pickering. He tracks it down to the 50. Runs to 40. This could end and he hopes the Bears harbour. He puts it through for a goal. So the Tigers are 14-15. Brisbane 8-4. Bad hand pass got them into all sorts of trouble. Yes, their skill level has been really appalling tonight, the Brisbane Bears. They're both by hand and foot. And so many times this, their mistakes have allowed Richmond in and uh, we've got so many good running players at Richmond side that once you let them in and uh, give them an opportunity that certainly uh, they have paid for all the mistakes they have made. They restarts. McIver's hand pass was the one that let Richmond in. Goodwin in trouble. Playing by Merritt. Holding the ball, says the umpire. Zanotti back on too, Dennis. And uh, Mark Roberts off the ground. Merritt alongside the centre circle, looking for Kappa. Valiant attempt to mark. James going nowhere. O'Keefe towards goal. Threw it across to Bain. Oh, crashing into him was James. That's got to be a free kick. And Bain is hurt. Yeah, well, that's it's very untidy. That's very dangerous too. A dangerous situation. A player with his head over the ball. And uh, really another player. And the player there was James who did it. James was... Uh, I didn't think he had eyes for the ball. Let one go. Well, I think that uh, you know, those sort of incidents are very dangerous to play with, Ooh, his, with his head over the ball. You. Thank you. Well, you can understand these Brisbane Bears players being incensed. Mr. Cox would like to have a look at something here. Right there. They need to keep their cool. Richmond have dominated this game. Bain kicking it a goal. Gets it. So the Bears continue to flutter. A lot of courage by David Bain. That could have been very dangerous. 14-15 to 9-4. The Tigers continue to lead and really no need for that. But tempers are on a short fuse at the moment. He's a free Dennis. And players really, I think, know that's not on. Well, that's not right, is it? It's almost, uh, almost can be construed as a charge something like that it's probably the most dangerous situation in football with a player with his head over the ball and another player just comes in and charges him Bain and Nichols jostle as the ball is bounced in the centre cloak to Goodwin and Richmond have won the ball with monotonous regularity out of the centre Edwards got two hands to it should have taken the mark off the ground from Young and it beats Leslie over the boundary line to be thrown in right on 50 left half forward flank for Richmond Caden off again too, Pete. He's only uh, had a couple of possessions tonight. A very quiet player. Not a good night for him. Gee, they're quick changes, aren't they? Yes, Roberts back on. Edwards at the back. Lambert. Looks for Mitchell. One of the quickest players in the AFL. And runs out of room as Gastev applies the tackle. And so Richmond gaining about 30 metres. It's only some 20 metres away from their scoring area now. Edwards and Honeybun this time. Honeybun getting front position. Bain, Lambert and Young. And Nichols this time running out of room. And a good player for the Tigers tonight. 19 possessions. 
including 15 kicks. He's kept it off with one goal. So a succession of boundary throw-ins. Richardson, a blind kick over the top. Goes only as far as Knight. He gets around Roberts. That's a good kick distance-wise. A big pack of players in the goal square. Honey Bun, is he still in play? Yes, he is. Snaps. And brings up only one flag. So close to three-quarter time. We've got three-quarters of a minute left as the Tigers crack the ton. 100 to 58. So 42 points the difference. Dennis, that's what it was at quarter time. Yes. Kennedy kicks in. Member's side. Merits the target. Knocks it on intelligently. The Bears have got the run of it. Edwards, but no support. This is Knights. Pinpoints it beautifully towards half forward. Either one of two. Mitchell takes the mark, continues to run, pulls it back across his body and gets the goal for the Tigers. Class footballer is Michael Mitchell. 15-16 to 9-4. Just checking the figures for Mitchell. Hasn't had a lot of possessions tonight, just 12. Look at this kick from Knights. There's three Richmond players lined up waiting for that and not a Brisbane Bears player picking up any of them. In the end, it went to Michael Mitchell, an easy chess mark, and good play to play on immediately, and kick that goal. And there, pensive. It's been an entertaining term, this one, but unfortunately, the Bears needed this at the start. Bain's hand pass intercepted by Justin Pickering. Bain comes back again. He's trying very hard, but Pickering gets the kick away. Michael Pickering missed it. Lunging after it is Leslie. There's the siren, three-quarter time. And it's 15-16 to 9-4, but certainly the best term in the game. was 42 points at quarter time it's only got out to 48 now 15 16 to 9 for the principal goal scorers for Richmond Michael Pickering four all in the first term and three to Justin Pickering and for Brisbane three each to Warwick Kappa and Brad Hardy and Bernie the chalkboard yes Dennis well really I think the, the uh, well what has been highlighted tonight has been the Brisbane Bears lack of thought that they have put into their game a lot of times they haven't guarded the mark very well and when they have on this occasion out on the other side of the ground here around about here the ball was taken by Matthew Knights uh, Mark Roberts was on the mark Knights went back to his position when he went he went to his right he's not a right footer he's a natural left footer Roberts charged straight at him he should have held back a bit Knights was then able to charge across to this side out here get onto his natural left foot get around have plenty of time to steady and kick the ball into that forward line and so I just think that highlights some of the lack of thought that's gone into the Brisbane Bears play out on the field tonight. That's a good point. Norm Dare down with the Brisbane Bears. Well, the round continues tomorrow. And some outstanding games. Tough for tipsters, this one. Collingwood against the West Coast Eagles. Hawthorne against Geelong. St Kilda and Footscray. Melbourne and North Melbourne. Fitzroy and Essendon. And then on Sunday, Sydney and Carlton. And probably four or five of those games a really pick up let's go down to michael roberts thanks dennis and kevin bartlett was pretty disappointed because they said that they weren't running the ball into the forward line like they did in that first quarter and they didn't stick to their their, their team plan because gail and Honeybun need space and there's plenty of run in those little fellas and he wants them to keep going norm dare a little happier he said take risks there's nothing to lose and the reason they started to team was because they were using their hands giving options willing to run but they're still very very loose around the ground Checking the stats for the third turn. And that indicates the Bears getting a lot more of the ball, as you can see. Start of the final term, 106 to 58. Since quarter time, Richmond have improved their situation by only six points. Lee trying to knock it forward. Off the ground, Zanotti inside 50. Lees. Oh, that cleaned up. He certainly was. He slowed again up. He socketed it off the ground. It was marked downfield by Free. He plays on now, swings it out wide. They'll contest just inside the 50. Missed by Leslie. Justin Pickering behind, trying to knock it forward and succeeds in doing that. 
Showing a lot of desperation was Walsh. Still he goes after it to Edwards. Leslie finds Gaster. He's in trouble. Now Hardy. In fact, it's Kennedy. McIver up towards halfback. Wants some time. Just gets the kick off towards centre wing. O'Keefe couldn't control it. This is Knights. Nicely away to Powell. Powell forward of centre wing. Spears the pass into Michael Pickering. To Ryan from 50. Long down towards the vacant goal square. They come from all directions. Oh, and Richardson, a despairing lunge because lurking was Lambert. He was thinking of the soccer. First score in the final term to the Tigers then. It's 15-17 to 9-4. Again, Dennis, two Brisbane Bears players flying against each other. Could have been a fatal error there with Lambert just about ready to pounce. And uh, really there's not a lot of teamwork in this uh, Brisbane Bears side. Kennedy stuttering to kick in as he has done before. McIver from Gibson. Carlson runs straight at the ball. Free. Beats him to it. Nichols bustled out of it. Merritt will look for a hand pass, but he's a little bit too slow. Good tackling by Richmond. It rebounds to Goodwin. On a Barry Young. No, he's going to leave it for Pat. As you will. Young again. Kennedy goes the score. Not successful. Is that a bounds or is it a free kick or a play on? Pick your option. Well, Richardson lucky to get away with it. It was. Walsh. I think he looked up at the umpire expecting to, to be free kicked. Umpire said no, play on. And Richmond do. Now taken by Gale. And after the kick from Justin Pickering found its mark. And Gale has kicked. He's not got a goal tonight. No one behind Pete, and uh, this is an area where he has let himself down. His goal kicking has not been good this season. Well, as you can see, he's well within kicking distance. You would almost suggest point blank range. 25 metres out. He's broken the duck now. Dale boots his first goal, and the Tigers go further ahead 16 17 to 9 4. And a very promising player, as I said earlier, Brendan Gale. He's a big boy. He's now opposed to Brad Edwards, who started on the bench for the Brisbane Bears. He's only kicked one goal, but he always puts his body in, contests hard, and uh, helps the smaller players by tapping the ball on. A very good team player. Gale's first goal, 22 and a quarter minutes left in this game. The Tigers need a good percentage boost because they try North Melbourne in the same number of games. Young. Oh, good mark. Running with the fight of the ball. Kennedy, and he takes the mark for the Bears in the right back pocket. He's gone short, looking for Bain. Oh, gee, they get themselves into some strife. Bain still in play. So is the ball. But Bain, good enough to get clear. Yes, he does, but only just. McIver. Well, they've had about three or four possessions and just got it out of defence, up towards centre field. Roberts. On to Zanotti, who likes a run. Powell gets him. Back to Roberts. Roberts. Long kick down towards full forward. Kappa waiting behind. It comes forward to Withers. Bannock. Nichols has it now. Out wide, Justin Pickering. Coming across is Roberts. Keeps it in play. Well done. Slipping over was Richardson. As a result, an opportunity for Powell. He's on centre wing. Decides to run. Has a bounce. Good aggressive football. Kicks down towards the 50. Walsh went back with courage. He's hurt. Gale surely didn't have it. It was a Michael Pickering. It was Michael Pickering. And he'll get the free kick inside 50. Four goals in the opening term. Very quiet since. Martin Leslie has closed him down. Not easy to go onto a player who really is firing and his side is dominating and do that sort of job. Michael Pickering. By the same token, has been a fine player over the seasons for the Tigers. Best and fairest in 1988. Kicks from just inside the 50. Behind is Young. And Young missed it and got it. It was his boot over. No, it wasn't. Edwards threatens the goal up there. And Richmond get their 17th. 17-17 to the Bears 9-4. Well, he did miss it the first time as we have a look at the replay. Reminded me of Perce Jones in the... Commodore Cup years ago, that one. He missed it almost completely on the first instance, but uh, very quick thinking there by Barry Young. 
And he kept his boot from going over the line as well, so well done. Seventeen seventeen to nine four now. Withers, well tackled by Young. McIver kicks to half forward, two on one in favour of the Tigers, knocked away by Bannock, Zanotti slot. Merritt out wide, Gaster at the target, good block by Powell. Hardy, who's kicked three goals, all in the third quarter. Kaffer in front. Could have almost got a free kick for a high tackle against Lees, but umpire says nothing for it. Boundary throw in. He stopped leading again, though, Warren Kappa. He's now waiting at the back behind Lees, and there was a free kick that could have been paid over the shoulder. But his first goal tonight from a free kick, Goodwin. But that was certainly there. Free and Carlson. And it's out of bounds in front of the Richmond player. He's just forgotten to go with the ball at the present time, Warwick, hasn't he? Well, Everything's he's... about this contact and exactly. pushing he's... and shoving. Yep, and he's not a strong player physically, so he needs to get that break in the lead and get a jump at the ball. Lee and Merritt. Gastiv. Gastiv wins out. He's right on the boundary. Shoots at goal. Oh. Kappa. That's a point. And field umpire conferring with the goal umpire. Unless there's a free kick down there, Kappa, and I didn't see anything. That's what we're talking about there. Well, oh, the crowd's cheering because I think Warwick Kappa kicked the point, but it went over the line before he took the mark. Right. Right. So Bannock to kick in for Richmond. He's favouring the outer side. Looking for Lees. Right on his defensive 50 metre line. Back to free. Same position. And then over to the loop. Long kick by the former captain, Leslie. Up behind, couldn't take the mark. Good tackle by Edwards. Ball spills free. And boundary throw it again. Close to centre wing. I don't think we'll see Caden in the Brisbane best side next week, Peter. But I'm sure he'll have a run in the uh, in the twos. Looks like a South American soccer field, doesn't it? With all those uh, wires and gates over there. Edwards. Merritt up from behind. Huh. Couldn't take the mark. Lee. To all the strong men in the AFL. And pass comes out to Merritt again. Knights to Lambert. And the Tigers doing well. Not a well delivered ball. Gibson in front. Gets slung as he kicked. Good tackle by Ryan. And then it comes to Withers. Looping hand pass. O'Keefe inside 50. Beautiful smother by Knights. A big pack of players there. Bannock will really he get clear? The hand pass is on the Knights. And Richmond through Mark Lee will get the run. Lee across to Mitchell. Lambert is in the centre square. Justin Pickering alongside the centre circle. Honeybun turns and leads back in the race. Didn't have the pace. Ball came back to him though. In the grasp, he gets the kick off and misses to the right hand side. That's two goals five today, Honeybun. So uh, had he kicked accurately, he would have had a big night. Tortoise in the hair. Bain in the pocket. Bet his insurance agent doesn't watch the Bears games. Bain out of the pocket. But ricochets off Goodwin, close to the boundary line. Goodwin sits on it, and the umpire comes across and decides to pull it up. Very close to the boundary line then. 17-18 to 9-5. Gale towards the pocket. Leslie. Rolls out of bounds. It's becoming an art form, getting it out of bounds. Camouflaging it. Edwards and Gale to do the ruck work. Gale, knocked on there by Richardson, taken by Ryan. From the Mercurial Mitchell pulls it back. Hasn't got the carry. Honeybun is down there. Ball is still alive momentarily and then spins out of bounds. So just over 16 and a half minutes remaining in the game. And Richmond imposing in that first term, played some superb football. Now looking better again after a lull. Withers to Bain in more trouble. Richardson, that's a good hand pass. Gibson, another good one. Merritt. Decides to go for a run. In his 200th game, why not? Down to the 50. He's balking, twisting and turning. Gives it out to O'Keefe. Man on. 
that should have gone to Gastiv. He's missed to the right-hand side, O'Keefe, and that really tells the story of the night, and Gastiv telling the story to O'Keefe. We saw a similar instance, Bernie, didn't we, with Hardy and Kappa in yes, the third well, quarter. Really, the teamwork uh, was non-existent with this Brisbane Bears side. Bannock, straight up the ground this time by the Tiger rookie. Although he's playing sometimes like a seasoned veteran. Bain, a knock-on. Tried for Withers. And Withers throws some pretty heavy traffic there. Nearly throws the ball out to Merritt from a standing start. Up towards Capper in the square. And it's socket out of bounds. Who kicked it? I've got no idea. Hit the behind post. Might have been Hardy, was it? Yes, Hardy. Again, Murray Capper doing a lot of pushing and shoving in the goal square. Caught behind again. And that's not his go. Bain late on the scene from James's kick. As we go down to the boundary line, and here's Michael Roberts. Well, Philip Walsh has come off in agonising pain after a heavy clash on the outer half forward flank with a rib injury. Well, 60 points the difference. It's exactly double. Mashenko taps down. James off the ground. Ashcroft. Capper from behind. Lees gets a hand to it. To rush it through to make the difference. 59 points. And that's just what Richmond went down by last Saturday against Collingwood at Victoria Park before that sellout crowd. Bannock again to kick in. But the Tigers will stay in the hunt for the five. They've got the job ahead of them. But they're certainly producing the goods after a tardy start to the year. One match in which they were annihilated here in a night game by North Melbourne. They well over 100 points. And this is Knights again. He's having a great year. Lambeth. No pressure on him. at all as he kicks the goal and brings up two players. Lambert second in Richmond's 18th, 126 play 61. Well, there was very little Mike Richardson could do there because he was caught with uh, Knights running down the ground. No pressure coming from midfield from the Brisbane Bears. And uh, Mike Richardson picking up Craig Lambert had no option other than to come forward. Popped over the top by Knights. And that made it very easy for Craig Lambert to kick his second goal. So Richmond ending this game as they started it in complete control. It's out to 65 points again now. Just over 14 minutes remaining. Shenko battled manfully. Justin Pickering has got a lot of possessions tonight to Lambert. Forward of left centre wing. Greg Lambert kicks inside the 50. Off hands to Nichols. Vacant goal square. But a kick far too high. Edwards going back. All the time in the world to camp underneath it. Take the mark to Bain. Another valiant trier in a lost cause. Ashenko has been fiery and aggressive tonight. Ashcroft up towards centre wing, kicking towards half forward. O'Keefe trying to spoil it from behind, but Goodwin has done well at centre half back. A man who maximises his skills. Evasion, not one of them, but. Showed it off there. Bannock tumbles a kick down towards half forward. Powell missed it. Here's Zanotti again. Likes to go for a run. Three stayed off him. Leslie. Bain. In trouble, Bain. What's new? Gets it to Zanotti. Zanotti kicks through centre towards half forward. Two Bears came at the ball. Some indecision. Hardy and Gastiv. They keep it going their way, though. Good shepherd from Gastiv. Taken by Hardy. Down towards the kickoff line. Could have almost been a free again to Kappa. Still he goes. The hand pass came directly out to Bauer. Lunging this bearing tackle from Merritt. No good. James towards centre wing. Here's Justin Pickering. Gives it to Lambert. Lambert, who's been a good player tonight, kicking two goals. And Honeybun, a chance to bring up another one. And he's kicked two goals. Five we got into a goal. There's two five. Uh, Pete may be a little bit fortunate there. Because that kick wasn't very good from Lambert off the boot. Wobbled all over the place and uh, fortunately found David Honeybuck. Lambert comes up for Richmond and then coming back on is Hamilton. Lee also off for David Cloak, so a double change. And they've done that all night, haven't they? Lee the first half of the quarter, Cloak the second. Can he kick his third? No. I don't think he'll add to his tally at all. Didn't make the distance. So let him down a little bit. Ashcroft. To Edwards, to Caton, who has not had what we might term the greatest of nights here at the MCG, Zanotti, 
Marking just inside the boundary line. Gets away from David Clark. Bennett in front. Takes a good safe mark. It is slippery over there, isn't it? <laughs> Kicks high. Not too long. Edwards and Ryan. Edwards at the back. Shuffles the ball out the back. Carlson and Bain. It's the matter to come out with the ball. Probably the Bears' best player. Kappa in front. Gastev from a standing start. Won't quite make the distance. And the ball rolling over the boundary line. Or is it a score? Might have got it behind. It has. So a point to the Brisbane Bears. Their eighth. 9 8. Plays 18 18. So a difference of 10 goals, 10. 70 points if you prefer it. With just over 11 minutes left in this game. And Bannock again to do the kicking in for the Richmond side. And Toronto North Melbourne who've won the same number of games by just on 20%. So a good percentage boosting win and certainly what the Tigers need tonight. Powell chased by Merrill. I don't think he'll catch him but he's giving him a decent old try. And Powell right from the edge of the square tries for Hamilton but chipping in to take the mark is Richardson. Plays on immediately, swings it out wide. Kiver was busy in the first half. Forward of half back towards centre wing. Shenko. Shenko's hand pass charged down by the effect of Justin Pickering. O'Keefe gets it away. Kate was in trouble. Bain, timely sidestep. Cloak got the ball. Look at the acceleration of Trent Nichols. Charges through the centre. Long down towards full forward. Honeybun, strong mark. Always going to be his. He approached that ball with great confidence and giant strides. Yes, he's been uh, very good on the, at the full floor position, David Honeybun. And we have a look at the mark again. Strong pair of hands in between the two Brisbane Bears players. Hasn't been accurate tonight. A bit worried about his run-up, uh, Dennis. He goes back so far every time. Probably much too far in the end. He's a good, say, 20... 25 metres on occasions. Should come off the short run, Burley. I'd recommend it, Pete. Honeybun, this time. Well deserved goal. He's now kicked three goals from 19 18 to 9 8. The Tigers all over the Bears now. And even though he was back a few away from the mark on that occasion, he only had a couple of steps before he kicked the ball for goal as we see that kick from uh, Nichols again long into the forward line and Honey but he's been magnificent playing at full forward of course Jeff Hogg out of the side injured at the moment with that knee injury David Honeybun's tally now three goals five out of Richmond's total of 19-18 and of course in that they kicked eight goals six in the first quarter David Clark showing speed out of the centre kicks to half four Edwards punches clear Hamilton and controls the ball beautifully, gets clear of Leslie. This will be another one. Well, it should have been another one. He's run too far, Pete. Free kick. He missed it anyway, really. Yes, he did all the hard work, and uh, in the end, he ran away from the goal and tried to hook it back. He should have just kept, kept running on that straight line, even though he did run too far. The Tiger fans, that was though they're in the cage themselves in that shot. Not too happy with the decision. But as I said, he missed it anyway. Richardson kicks in. O'Keefe at the back tries to spoil Justin Pickering. Cloak gives the hand pass to Powell. Bauer, and it's out of bounds. I think they practiced that in training, really. <laughs> a little roll, a little tumble. <laughs> that knowing look of yours in, Dennis. 19-18 to 9-8. 70 points the difference in favour of the home side. Ball tapped out the back. Ooh, Knight shakes his fingers as it's socket clear of his. <laughs> having a dance in the middle there, Rashenko and Young. McIver, good tackle by O'Keefe. Could have been almost holding the ball, there is a whistle. In fact, that's what the umpire has played. O'Keefe will take the free kick for Brisbane. Just right at the centre circle. He's got options out wide. Caton, oh, he has not had a good night, Kevin Caton. Well, he won't have a good night if he attacks the ball the way he did there. Knight's has kicked to half forward. Pickering, that's Michael Pickering. Gives it to free. And Honeybun again. A chance to add to his tummy of three goals five. Surely the runner will come out to Caton. And get him off the ground after that. Who have they got left? Walsh is 
They're led to believe seriously hurt. Must be somebody down there. The runner is going out to Caitlin's marksman. Meantime, back with Honeybun. Not a bad looking effort from there. A little bit of body English on it. It grazes the post. Not his night in terms of kicking goals, but he's had plenty of the ball. 19-19 to 9-8. All Richmond in the final term. Kennedy, members side. Oh, Knight's the big leap. Got a hand to it. This is Caton waiting behind. Is it right half back? He kicks towards centre wing. Coming up the ground is Kappa. Takes the mark, plays on. Withers running towards half forward. That's a good kick. McIver carried him. In fact, it's Merritt down there. Merritt running towards the pocket. Skims one back and just misses. Yes, it Not looks a... like uh, Dennis that Merritt's playing at full forward and Capra ten half forward at the moment. Plenty of leads from the Bears that time as they brought it forward, but it still didn't end in a goal. Picked one or two down there as he brought it in. And it's with Bannock. Going to be a very good player. He's all ready. Slightly towards the outer side. Ashenko reaching over the top. Got a fist on it. James trying to go off the ground. Gibson sweeping hand pass. Zanotti outside 50. Carlson forced to stop because the hand pass went behind him. Gastiv tried the chip pass. Showing great courage and reading it well was Nichols. The kick not particularly good. Kappa almost the mark. Then tried for the free kick. Young's enjoying this. <laughs> He's got a sense of humor, Barry Young. Away he comes. Kicks towards midfield. Not a good kick, so the laugh's on him. Gibson's got it. Gibson. Kicks straight and finds Mark Zanotti. I think Young knew who was behind him. I think he was pretty safe from the tackle, do you, Dennis? I think so. Zanotti having a few words. Smiles. Wouldn't like to meet him in an alley at night. <laughs> Looking more like Rasputin the Mad Monk every day. Zanotti from 45 out. Drop putters off target. Merritt and his 200th misses. Hit the post. Shaved it. The good thing about Mark Zanotti, though, is he's got some fire in his belly anyway, hasn't he? And that's what Brisbane badly need. Although well, he was a little loose early. It's oh, yeah. in the first quarter, wasn't he? Yeah. Bannock looking for a lead across the half-back line. Kicks long, favouring the member's side. Oh, Knight's great mark. He's had a good night, hasn't he? 22 kicks, 10 handballs, and that's his fifth mark. And there's another one. Lees takes the hand pass. Ball knocked the ground at midfield. Free on the Michael Pickering. Under the explosive Mitchell, he gets around Ashcroft. Back to Pickering for number five of his accurate. He got four in the first quarter. And you can't add to that tally with that kick. So Leslie, we'd have to say, has done a good job on him after being moved. And he had four goals on the board. 19-20 now, the Richmond tally. Kennedy kicks in short. And Hardy takes the mark. Caton at right half back. They've had a couple of stints on the bench. Caton kicks to right centre wing. Some of them took off before nominations. The end result was a whistle. Advantage rule played and Kappa takes advantage of that. Kicks well to position at half forward. Gibson on his own. No one standing the mark. Could have possibly had a shot from there, but Merritt takes the safe mark. Yes, he's marked about 15 metres out. Set up for him by Gibson. In fact, Merritt and Zanotti lurking behind that pack, as you can see. Well, it was probably good position play there from uh, Gibson, but uh, he was only 30, 35 metres out and running in unopposed. Could possibly have had a shot at goal himself. Merritt. A bit happening just off the ball as Merritt kicks at goal and puts it through. Yes, and that's what you're talking about. To number 21 is Powell and Zanotti. Powell points to the scoreboard. Zanotti didn't like the treatment he's meted out by James. And Roger Mill comes in to calm him down. Yes, Rogers kicked two goals, two goals three in fact. 
And uh, two behinds coming in this last quarter since he's been moved to the full forward position. Roger Merritt. There's our score, Richmond 19-20, Brisbane 10-10. The emergency umpire has been out to Zanotti and Powell. No reports, I don't think, but just a word to the weary. Here's Cloak, who's getting it out of the centre pretty well in this turn. Missed down there by Justin Pickering. Free, barged off it. Edwards has done reasonably well since coming on to the advantage of Carlson. Copped one as he got the hand pass away. Taken high was Hardy. No free kick. Shoveled out by Lee. Free has got it. Zanotti is in the mood to play. It could be in the back. And Mark Zanotti not very happy. He dealt out some treatment there to uh, Tony Free. <laughs> what? And Brad Edwards coming in to uh, lend a bit of assistance. Oh, uh, no need for this now. The Tigers. As Powell did, need only to point to the scoreboard. Free, good mark taken by Hamilton, marking the free kick. Now he plays on from outside 50. Honeybun down there again, strong mark, Honeybun. Yes, it's played. That's the way to win the arguments. He's a man mountain, David Honeybun. And when he's on his game, he takes a lot of beating. The other thing about the Brisbane Bears tonight, they haven't guarded the mark very well. Hamilton, who took that strong mark, he was able to run around far too easily. They're not keen to get up and uh, claim a man, the Brisbane Bears. They don't want to know about it if uh, their opponent has taken the mark. And that's an area they really have to work on. This man could have kicked ten tonight. As it is, he's coming in to kick his fourth. Point blank range gets it. So the Tigers building percentage now. 20-20 to 10-10. That's four goals, six to David Honeybun. And it's been an excellent uh, performance by him up on that forward line. Strong grabs, most of them in front of his opponent. As I said earlier, he's not afraid to get that front position, works very hard for it and holds it. So 20-20. Vision from the Tigers. 70 points for difference, three minutes left in the match. Cloak taps down. And Richmond, as I said earlier tonight, have got the ball out of the centre with monotonous regularity. This is Barrow's turn now. Ashcroft chasing, but he won't catch him. Wobbly sort of a kick. Not a good one. Honeybun again, this time waiting behind successfully for his fifth. Twenty-one twenty to ten ten. And that's a real dropping on the scoreboard for the Brisbane Bears. That's rubbing so in the wounds. Now, this time Honeybun was caught behind. As Bauer kicks long into the forward line, it tumbles over the top there. The two Brisbane Bears players did the right thing on that occasion. And David Honeybun, caught behind, was uh, favoured by the bounce. Fortune favours the brave. Tiger fans are pretty happy with the result tonight, and why shouldn't they be? 76 points is the difference. Sashenko runs straight at his opponent. Could have been free kick. Caton comes out of the centre with the ball for the Bears. Kicks right on 50. Long kick will get the distance. Merritt shepherds it through, but it's only through for a minor score. One behind. Kicked by Caton. Bears 11th. 10-11 to 21-20. Big kick that one from Kevin Caton. He's got plenty of energy left, I think, uh, Dennis. Bannock in short. Powell. Player growing in stature all the time. Little chip pass across to Ryan. One of the rookies of the season. A tidy hand pass. Lee's in trouble. Moves the ball down towards centre wing. Cloak. He's been very effective on the oh, ground. Oh, that's oh. bad. That's right. And Ashenko took him high. And Ashenko will be in the book. And that was just the sort of thing that this game didn't need. It's been sparking most of the night. Cloak has a smile. And certainly the laugh is very much on Alex Ashenko. The frustration there, right to the four. And now it's going to be a free kick to Honeybun down the ground, so he'll get a chance to kick his sixth. He had one till half time, so it's been a very productive second half for him. Alex Ashenko in the book. I think there's a case to answer. <laughs> you could be right, I think. It's been wrong before, Dennis, but I think he might be right this time. So here's Honeybun. Third vision, Alex is saying. <laughs> His only defence. It's a time-honoured West Australian tradition, blurred vision at tribunals. He misses to the near side, does Honeybun. 
So it's 21 21 to 10 11. Ian Law got out of one like that. He lost his contact lenses when he was accused of snotting Murray Wiedemann years ago. Maybe he could try it. Kekka saying he lost his glasses running onto the ground. <laughs> <laughs> James, right on the scene. Hamilton runs with Mitchell. Kicks one. They're kicking them from everywhere now. And this is terrible, isn't it? 22 21 to 10 11. And a minute left in the game or less. We might see another one the way they're going. And this has been a big quarter by Richmond. And as we see the kick out from full back again. Bad play by the Brisbane Bears. And those short kicks from full back are only on if they're very skillful and the player was well clear. And on that occasion he wasn't. Straight up the ground ball. Straight up the ground, allowed the punch to take place and uh, it was all over. Yashenko and Cloak. No love lost between that pair. Caitlin dispossessed. He might get a second bite at it. Carlson kicks short. Kappa. Can't get into the open spaces. Free. A good bump. Comes out with the ball. Well played, Tony Free. Then gets leg. Could be free against Kappa. Surely he's all over the top of him in his back. He did well on that first tackle, Warwick Kappa, but uh, I thought the second one may have warranted a free kick. In more terms than one. Bounce near the square. Ashenko taps down. Caton coming good when the horse is well and truly bolted. In fact, they'll host him down. Gastev picks up right on the side, but there it is. An easy win to win. So the Tiger is chirpy tonight. And the Tigers have done very well in this game. Started quickly, ended superbly. Get the Bears their due. They fought back in the third term. Alex Ashenko on report. It's been a disappointing night. David Cloak goes across, has a word to Roger Merritt. And boy, that is a very forlorn coach's box. Despair on the face of Norm Bear. Richmond 22 21, defeat Brisbane 10 11. It was the Tigers at every change. They led by 42 points at quarter time, 52 at half time, 48 at three quarter time, and then they bolted to win by 82 points. Checking the goal scorers, David Honeybun got five, Michael Pickering got four, Justin Pickering got three, two each to Lambert and Nichols, along with three, and singles to Hamilton, Gale, and Young. Plenty of them. For the Bears, three apiece to Hardy and Kappa, two to Merritt, and Ashenko got one. Well, gentlemen, the obvious question is, 
Where do Brisbane go from here, apart from go back to Brisbane, Bernie? Well, back to basics, Bernie, you'd have to suggest, looking at some of the fundamental errors that they made in all of the four quarters, wouldn't you? Well, you would, Pete. Their school level was really atrocious tonight, and some of the handball uh, mistakes and, and errors also from their, their kicking uh, really allowed Richmond in on so many occasions. The cupboard is really bare, Dennis, as far as uh, players are concerned. I think some of those players... Bain played well. Bain... And Leslie quite and Michael Pickering down when he was moved there after quarter time but so many of their players burn they flash in for a few kicks do a couple and you don't see them for the rest of the game exactly I think there's players in that side that don't really deserve to be playing at the AFL level and uh, a few of those tonight I said Caton was a very poor player he started off in the forward pocket and there's players if they are not getting a kick they can flash into the play and do something like tackle and chase and harass and things like that but uh, too many of the Brisbane Bears players go out of the game they don't do enough when they haven't got the ball and that is the defensive side of the game the statistics really, I think, tell the story tonight, don't they? Richmond, well on top in the kicks, 218 to 174, and the handballs, 119 to 123. Well, the Bears came back in that regard, but you'd have to say, too, on that statistic alone, a lot of those, Bernie, were under a lot of pressure. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the statistic as how many handballs hit the target, and I think... Uh, effective handballs, yeah. Effective handballs. I think about 50% would have gone astray. And as I said, on so many occasions, this allowed Richmond in. And they're such a good, fast running side, Richmond. Their players are so quick that they uh, do make the most of it. Nothing to sing about there as far as the Brisbane Bears are concerned. the MCG five outstanding games tomorrow as round 14 continues and as I said earlier in the telecast really a tipsters nightmare tomorrow Collingwood against the West Coast Eagles Hawthorne against Geelong St Kilda against Footscray Melbourne against North Melbourne and Fitzroy against Essendon now I don't think I'm overstating things to say all of those games could go either way Fitzroy impressed me last week and certainly the look of North Melbourne side tomorrow I think is the best they've had all season on Sunday at Sydney against Carlton well, let's start from the top there and work our way through those fixtures. Second against fourth at Victoria Park. Bernie, Collingwood and the West Coast Eagles. I think uh, Collingwood will win this one, uh, Dennis, especially playing at home in front of their home crowd at uh, Victoria Park. And the Eagles have not been all that impressive uh, on their journeys over here to the east. How about oh, you, Pete? Echo those thoughts. Uh, Den, the West Coast never won at Collingwood. And I couldn't see them doing it tomorrow. I've seen the last few Collingwood West Coast games and Collingwood just seemed to have their measure. Hawthorne and Geelong at VFL Park. Interesting one, this yeah, one. This is a tough one. A real tough contest. Pete, a few, few out injured just looking at the sides, aren't they? Yeah, well, Brereton and Dunstall back will make a big difference. And uh, Well, and Cooper and Greg Deere have been very good players through the tough times for Hawthorne. Yeah, Dippy Domenico they? out too. Yeah, yeah Dippy guys Dominico. who have performed. Yeah, Dipper has struggled a bit over the last few weeks. Probably injuries and age catching up a little bit with him. But I am uh, I fancy Hawthorne a little bit here. I think their back line is a little bit steadier and stronger, especially with Jenky. Langford, Ayres, Tuck, McGuinness and Collins. It's not a bad back line there. Pete? Yes, yeah, so I'd, I'd agree with you, but I, I saw Hawthorne against Footscray last week, Dennis. I wasn't too impressed, so I might, on that score, anyway, have to give Geelong a nod in a close game. Well, speaking of Footscray, out at St Kilda. Who do you like there? Another toss of the coin, I think, Dennis, but uh, <laughs> both sides very impressive. I think Footscray's form last week against Hawthorne will give them a big chance in a very tough game at Moravan. St Kilda at home. OK, Michael Roberts is standing by on the boundary, the man in the thick of it all. Michael, your selections tomorrow. Thanks, Dennis. And I like Collingwood. Uh, I, I saw them out there last week. They're fantastic on the ball. I like, uh, I like Geelong against Hawthorne. I know they've got Dunstall and Brereton back, but I think they'll hit their straps hard out there. Geelong to win. And I think St Kilda too far, uh, too far a better side at home, and especially with Lowy and fellas like Robert Harvey doing very well, the Saints down at Moravan. So you've got to say some fantastic football coming up. Just repeating our final score as Richmond jump one place to 10th on the AFL ladder. 22-21 to 10-11 winners over the Brisbane Bears. Thanks for your company. Have a nice weekend. Good night. <laughs> He's every inch a hero The kind to get things done but underneath that grip of steel, they hide some father's favorite son. All the world needs heroes, one for all and all for one. We stand with pride beside Australia's favorite son. Yet to come. And the 
This has been a Seven Sport presentation for the Australian Television Network.